why am I blushy? Why, why, why face blushy? Why? Eh. Woot two months in a row. Thank, th thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, uh, Punk Moogle, for the subscription. <laughs> Hello! Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, and well, I am in a mood. It is a mood. It's a mood. It exists. Good morning, everyone. God has let me live another day, and I am about to make it everyone's problem. Yes, I is animated. I premiered this yesterday. <laughs> While playing one of the greatest little bits of Yakuza 2, and the most pathetic part of all of Yakuza series ever. Um, actually, hold on. Let me, um, let me just, let me just move me because it's annoying and I'm off center. There we go. I'm centered now. It's about me. Um no, uh so how explain thing without going crazy. So yeah. Yeah, regret that. It's Yakuza 3. And now I understand why everyone was like the beginning is Harsh! And by harsh, I mean bullshit. I mean, it's just... It's so boring! Oh yeah, I'm gonna regret saying that, story-wise. Yeah, 3 is finally picking up. Allegedly, according to Survivor. Um, ooh, do I need to recalibrate? I might need to recalibrate. Hold on. Ah! None of you saw that. Thank you, Punk Moogle. How oh, not? Ah! I think I improved it. I have no clue. Eh. So. Oh no. It's you in the guts, and then twist the knife. Yeah! But the Yaku the thing is, you start off a rooftop battle with Majima shirtless, and it's great. But then the boring children stuff kicks in. Oh my lord, the children shit. Okay, so we're going to continue. Yakuza Three Remastered, Remas, Re, eh. Cat, stop it! Stop fiddling with your model. Stop fiddling with your model. I have to fiddle with my model in order to make this thing actually work and make me not angry. Okay. Stop it. It's not going to be perfect. No such thing as perfect technology. Remind yourself that frequently. Anyway. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's continue Yakuza Kiwami 3. Let's see if it gets better. Uh, it's a it's I'm awake. I'm alive. Thank you Mad Squirrels. I I, I'm alive. That's the important part, right? Uh, let's just start the gaming, shall we? Gaming stream. There we go. Please. Please don't be shit. Please don't be shit. Please don't be shit. You found it wholesome. I found it boring and tedious. There. I said it. I don't want kids. I don't give a sh- I'll be nice to kids if I have to. But I do not give a shit about little teeny tiny child drama. Like, oh, the kid's getting bullied. No shocker. Oh, wow. I'm like, yes, I'm determined to protect this kid who's getting bullied. But, like, the way they do it with the stupid golf game just pisses me off. I don't want children. Let's just hit the hay, and let's go. The sooner we're in Kamotaro, the sooner I will see Majima. The sooner I will see Majima, the sooner I won't want to stab people in the face! It's like, that whole, there's a whole bit that's dedicated to like, about a half an hour. I've timed it, I timed it. About a half an hour dedicated to the girl who lost her fucking money. And the freaking ending of that little tiny arc, which I'm assuming has... Nothing to do with the main plot. Ugh. Puppy! Okay, 
The world's better now. There's a puppy. And it's a sheep. Best dog. Asshole, you hurt that doggy, I will hurt you. I thought there was going to be no more children shit. Protect the dog! Also, I've tried to fix my uh, KBS as well as my output to see if possibly that will fix those massive amounts of lag issues you guys have been dealing with on the stream side of the things. I'm, again, trying my best. More children stuff. I'm begging you. I need a fucking board sign. like the slowness. I, okay, here's a fun fact about Kat. She hates slice of life anime because she thinks it's boring. I can't wait for it to kick off because then I won't be bored to fucking death. Hi, I have ADHD. I'm bored easily. Uh... Dumb, dumb, Cause when it kicks off, it gets kicks off. Because when it kicks off, it kicks off. Well, I've heard of slow burns, and even this is slow for me. I'm going to miss the slow pace. Fuck you, insult me. I'm sorry. I don't care. Uh, we also have Eel Child. We also have eel son now, and octopus son. We have a lot of fish children. Tota. Yes, the nunchucks, the iconic Okinawa weapon. I didn't. You also are important out. The fishing mini game is a little too confusing. I don't know. I'm simple. Okay, Kiryu. Let's start fighting. Woo, shirtless Kiryu. All nice and sexy and hairy. There we go. Uh, there we go. 
Thank you for the training. Yes, the stick fighting skills, which all I did was did X, 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 Y. I discovered it's the same combo I usually use to cheese it in freaking oh, normal yeah. Yakuza games. Alrighty, done. No, we did not beat up Monkey D. Luffy. I wish we beat up Monkey D. Luffy. That'd be fun. Can we fight Monkey D. Luffy? Or Sanji? Or Zoro? That's all I got from One Piece. I never watched the I only watched, like, a little bit of the 4Kids dub. And even I was like, the 4Kids dub is silly. Uh, hold on. Doing some adjustments over here. There we go. All you did was take off your hat. What, does the afro hold your power? Monkey D. I know that Monkey D just got, like, a cool new ability. It makes him look like a fire god, and I want to... I'm actually wanting to watch the, uh, One Piece anime, but I'm like, how do I watch it? Because I sure as fuck don't want to watch the four kids dub of how badly they censored that shit. Okay, fight Monkey D. Luffy. Back punch, back punch, back punch, sucker punch, sucker punch. Oh yeah, the foreign Kazuto is awesome. The name of One Piece, he's the kick of the pirates. No, 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 no. Circles, running around in circles. Sucker punch, punch, punch! Ow, 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 ow! No sucker punching, that's my bit! Fucking nunchuck heads! Don't eat worms. Oh, so I didn't have to win. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, buy health potions. Okay, we're gonna go buy health potions.
Please get to the health area. Mm. Be healed, my child. Oh, God, this is going to be slow. What does the eerie stuff doll do? I can't believe I'm looking this up. Yakuza 3 Remastered Eerie Eerie stuff doll. What does it do? What's the, what's the point of its existence? I cannot believe I'm Googling this. Oh, you need it for modeling a one weapon or accessory. Well, that's actually not vague and mysterious. Platinum. What about the platinum nail? Ah. Platinum nail, again, is for weapon upgrading. Damn it, is all this shit weapon stuff? You're still healing. Ugh. This is how you fucking heal. I hate this. Haruka's trust level? There's a Haruka trust level? You're fucking joking me. Oh, that's stupid. Yakuza 3 needs to get the Kawami treatment. Because, seriously, if they did a Yakuza 3 Kawami treatment, I would be a happy panda. Very happy panda. I'm not a panda, though. I'm far from being a panda. I'd be a very happy kitty. I am so fucking bored. Okay. Where? <sighs> You're joking me. Oh, God. All this stuff is, like, marked as mystery until I figure it out. Oh no, side missions! No! We don't need to help her! We don't need to help! T's are for taxis, S is for save point. Ooh, ice cream! Where's my fucking map? Aha! Chinese broadsword, my best friend.
No one judge me. God, this place is weird. Also, where's my tiny little map? I had a little map in the corner. Where did it go? I was using it for evil. God, this feels like a PS2 game. And this came out for the PS3. Seriously. This feels like something you'd find in Florida. I will not go deny that. Okay, give me a second. Ah, oh, click left thumbstick. Thank you. Uh, everyone, just... Be right back. I'm going to be back in a second. I have to help with my stepdad. Um, one second. Alt tab. Uh, <coughs> oh my god, I'm back again. Why is this thing in the face? Why are you here? Weird mystery thing. Not numb. Gotcha. Weird thingies, why are you here? Okay. Okay. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Haruka's trust. Low. Is there a super secret bad ending if I don't make Haruka happy? This is such a tourist trap restaurant. I've seen these in Florida. They're hilarious. Holy shit, they cook in front of you. This game has an improvement. Ooh. Season that. Yeah. Won't show the man eating it. We'll show him see, get, getting it cooked for him, though. There it is.
Where the fuck are the stores? I need health potions. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, look. Karaoke, not doing. Drugs. Drugs are down there, okay. Hey. Uh -huh. Damn, this shit's expensive. Yes, Shay. Oh, found the drugstore, which we're gonna need. to know about Tokyo. She's bored. Oh, she's like me whenever I get to go to big cities. Yay, Orlando. Hello, Punk Moogle. Yay, I got a burger set? Do 
me out, get me out, get me out, get out. Where are the Ryuku lockers? Life insurance companies don't pay for suicides committed within a year of the polity start date. <laughs> how Kiryu knows that is beyond me, although how I know that is beyond me. Huh? Apparently getting killed, <laughs> right? Work in a similar line of business. Lucky me. Oh, thank you for the stamina and royale. Thank you, actually. Free health potion. Uh, can't believe I'm actually doing mini missions just so I can get stronger. Oh, I hate myself. 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 doing this. Mitsumi who works at the club. She's the number one hostess on the roster. She's pretty. She brings in the crowd. She's got wealthy members and leave broken my fingers. and believe No, not exactly. Mitsumi started using her status as a leverage to influence clubs. To... Oh no. One of these bitches. Ooh, girl. I can see what you mean. She's a bitch. What? What? No, no, no. Please, no. Okay, you'll come work for us. Bring in some cash for yourself. Cut some fine young ladies. I do want money. I'm only doing this so I can make, get power and money. Find a girl who genuinely interests you. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Not now. I only have 500 yen. I bought like a shit ton of health potions, guys. We needed the money. 
So now court, don't care. Ah. Yeah. I knew beating up those random ass street thugs was gonna be useful. I'm only gonna do the karaoke once to see what the music is like. We have six of these? Oh boy, we're gonna die. One song he actually sings, and I hate it. <sighs> Preparing thyself for stupidity. This is so pathetic already. Song. I hate the song. 
That song sucks. Jesus Christ on a pogo stick. Who fucking wrote this? It's so depressing. Also, I hate the freaking... The fish will hate us. See? Fish hates us. Meh. I agree that was... Listen, I even I agree that was meh. I sucked at that. I don't do well with slow songs. You give me a fast karaoke song, I'm happy. I'm massively curious how I would do with this on the controller. I'm not good with it doing it this way. I'm always doing it on the that thing. Let's see how we can do. I hate the karaoke. Also, hi, Punk Moogle. No wonder the original dev came back for Yakuza 4. You think? You think? You think? We're finally figuring out why Yakuza 3 is not that great. Ah! Uh, e! Ah! Uh, uh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Even the karaoke's boring. I'm like, you can't f How can you fuck up karaoke? Thank you, fish. Karaoke bozo. Yeah, I- I- I agree. I agree. I agree. We're leaving. Leaving. Andale. Arriba. Get out of here. No. Leave. Arriba. We're going. Uh... Listen, if I was the original dev of this game and it is true that he went off somewhere and didn't come back for three and then found out how bad three was and decided he didn't like that so he came back to fix everything. Yeah. Ah. Creepy things. Gotcha. Damn it. I mean, like, I would ascend from wherever I am to be like, what the fuck did you do to my game?
And in the kidneys. Y yeah! And I thought Judgment was bad. At least Judgment has some funny funnies in it. Thank you. Oh, look, it's the dog. Hey, look, doggy. Hold RT to dash and don't let the dog out of your sight. What? Survivor, why is your dog in this game? After a dog, I'd run too. What'd you get? <laughs> I'd come back and I'd be like, I wouldn't fire the other dev. I'll be like, okay, come here. We're going to do a critical sandwich right now. I'm going to tell you all the bad shit, and then maybe there might be a nice slice of good in here. Mm. I believe that. Fire, if you want to help hold my hand in this insanity, you can, but I'm busy hugging a dog. Again, you don't have to. I'm not requesting. I'm not demanding. I'm... Words hard. I'm too angry. I need dog food. All right. Where is the place I could get the dog food? Public market might have it. Oh my god, they have these in Florida! I shit you not! Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> I want that. For reasons.
Where the fuck is the dog food? <sighs> really, dude? Dragon, well, change the freaking gameplay aspect. At least has a good story. And actually, it's kind of funny, and the pro tag is kind of nice. This, on the other hand, eh. Thank you for the. The one good thing, Majima, right there. <laughs> oh, God. What do they do to my baby in this game? Hmm? Ah. Oh my god. What did they do with Yakuza? What did they not do with this game? What do you with Yakuza? This game isn't irking me to hell and back. I'm like... This game needs more Majima. Oh! Look at me, I found the dropkick button. Hey guys, I found the drop kit combo. <laughs> I don't want to know why it's oblong. Okay, public market. Public market should have, you know, food, right? Dog food, right? 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 thousand yen to get you a fish Did someone say fish oh how good thank god survivors here sanity 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 is in the helmet thank god you're here oh god so how goes uh Hell? Yeah, hell. Do you want to just call it hell? We can call it hell. This game's a black sheep of the family for a reason. Yeah. Uh, no, like, I'm pretty sure, like, Bugs said, it will come home and, like, it'll, it'll sidekick you in the face when you're not looking. According to Buck, Man, it's... according to Buck, I'm going to miss this slow pace. I'm sitting here going, my ADHD brain hates this. It's like, okay. Here's the thing about Kingdom Hearts. Everyone knows I love Kingdom Hearts, and they all know I love Kingdom Hearts too, because Luxord. But, um, because Luxord, come on, obvious, I'm a basic bitch. Um, no, Axel's the basic bitch. Anyway, Luxord, the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2 is a slog. But it's making that in Kingdom Hearts 2 look like fast-paced drama. I'd, yeah. I'd rather do the opening of Kingdom Hearts 2 than this. I was mostly I I never played Kingdom Hearts. I've just seen other people play, but I was thinking more of long lines of uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, where it's just like that slow. Like before you get to the open world, you have all, all those uh, missions up in the mountains uh -huh, that you have to complete. It's just it's just a bear to get through. Don't say. Like it's great the first time, but every other time it's like I just want to get to get to my rootin' tootin' cowboy shooting game, please. Uh, this fishmonger gave me money to buy that sea bring back. Uh, send sushi in South Hatsumachi. Where the fuck is South Hatsumachi? And don't say yeah, South. Because well, <laughs> I already thought that. Uh, 
I was just gonna point out that um, the game feels very much it's the pacing. It's the pacing and how they chose to do it. it just feels like okay. it's, it's what makes it feel so off. Here's Hatsumachi, South Hatsumachi. Okay, I know exactly where we're going. I still so need Hatsumachi fucking. Hatsumachi is in the east, east, east city is to the west, north city is to the south, and south city is also to the south. Oh god, I hate when maps do that. <laughs> No, this, give me a. If you don't give me a. If you don't give me a. What's it called? A compass rose? You know the thing in the corner that determines yeah. north, south, east, west according to the map? If you don't put a compass yeah. rose there, I'm automatically gonna think north is up. Because <laughs> that's how it is in most compass roads. Roses. Roses. Yeah. Is, 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 is. yeah, it's the same reason why every time I hear the upper and lower Nile, the upper and lower kingdoms from Egypt, I always get confused. I have to remind myself no, mm -hmm. no, no. Upper kingdom is, is to the south. Lower kingdoms to the north. Towards the, just gotta think of it like a river. <laughs> the mouth of the river to the source of the river. See? Punk Google just pointed out how long the intro is in Kingdom Hearts 2. Three fucking hours. Yeah. Ew. I forgot about that. It's it's such a slow pace, because in the beginning of the Kingdom Hearts 2, you're doing this whole thing to make money to get this thing, and I'm like, ah! Again, pacing. Pacing is... Pacing. The, at I least, agree. the Kingdom Hearts 2 one has better pacing than this so far. But it doesn't help that I'm already doing side missions already because I keep accidentally accepting them! Aren't you interested in catching that dog? I already caught the damn dog. I'm trying to find dog food and I'm looking around for the said dog food. It really shouldn't be that hard. It's just get, get any, any convenience store. I'm saying you're going, hey, look, Why a public... No, my logic was, oh, there's a public market here. Public markets usually have dog food, right? <laughs> and if not, butchers! Get some stew... Get get some meatsies. No, no, okay, you have to jump for our very <laughs> set, set, set of, uh, of, of hoops to jump through. Otherwise, it doesn't count. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whoa! I know that, like, doing side quests gives you extra experience, and I'm like, yeah, it makes you stronger, which means I can go through the bullshit story faster, right? That's, that's what we're telling ourselves? This is exactly what we're telling ourselves. And there might be some good sub-stories in here. Although we haven't found any yet. Congrats, we stopped the kidnapping. Listen, stopping a kidnapping actually sounds very, very exciting, but compared to all the crazy bullshit I've dealt with in the past three Yakuza games... Yeah, that's fair. Oh, sorry! It's not a kidnapping, it's a dog napping! That makes it more exciting. <laughs> I would say, who kidnaps a dog, but I already know the answer. What? I would ask, who kidnaps a dog, but, I already, but I've been to this now enough times. I, I know the answer to that. Hi! <laughs> I've never kidnapped a dog. Well, I'm not near what I'm saying. I, I've seen, I've seen Cowboy Bebop. I've seen a, a number of shows brand the trip. Like, who kidnaps a dog? But well, the dog is obviously valuable. Or carrying something valuable. Oh look, and I don't even know where these fucking Ryuku lockers are. Someone go find out where the Ryuku lockers are for me. That's not me hinting or anything. <laughs> Oh yeah, Pomo, that's right. All that progress in the game gone because Roxas is, is uh, you know. Roxas? Roxas. <laughs> that's it. He, he quote unquote may or may not exist. <laughs> he has to grapple with that. Uh, I'm grappling with that. What was it? He's a part of listening to someone else's heart that's also may or, not, may or may not be a reflection of someone else's heart or some, some, something like that. Okay, Roxas is may or may not be a heart, uh, may or may not be a heartless of Sora, but also is not a heartless of Sora, and also some weird reincarnation experiment thing of Te of uh, Ventus. Is it Ventus? Yeah, because Terra's the hot, beefy guy, Aqua's the girl that everyone likes, and got norted. Yep. And I still remember that female word. A verb. Yeah. I do love it when people go, how can you remember the complex story of Yakuza? I go, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. And that answers and everything! <laughs> that's it's just... It means like, ah, that's right. It is so funny, because some people think, oh, she doesn't know the plot. I talk about the plot, because I had a friend of mine being like, 
So what's the plot of Yakuza? I go, da 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 da, uh, which one? He goes, the current one you're currently playing. I go, and at that time it was Yakuza 2. Which some people like making jokes saying the Yakuza 2 plot is ridiculous and hard to remember. And I'm sitting here going, so it's about this, 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 A, B, C, D. And they're like, okay, so she knows. Well, this is the current one. What was the plot of Yakuza 0? The guy gets murdered on this piece of plot of land that is supposed to basically help control the... Be able to have the power, have the Yakuza have power. It doesn't make sense in the real world, but that's how it works in Yakuza Zero. And I do that, and they're like, "Okay, she understands the plot." Somehow, her ADHD brain is memorizing all the shit while distracted by handsome men on screen. Yeah, I was gonna point out that yeah, Yakuza Zero is just literally real estate, future real estate development. Yeah. And uh, it's a very long-term goal, a boring prospect in a game of. The game about beating up uh, street thugs. Yeah, I go Yakuza. Uh, other shenanigans. Yeah, when I did, when I used to do Yakuza Zero, um, I did this funny little thing where, okay, this was before I had, I'm I'm motioning even though I don't have hands in this character, I um before I had this lovely little model, well even before I had the PNG, uh when I did the uh, real estate stuff, I used to have a uh, Frieza dressed, uh I think it's Boss Frieza, it's Frieza in the suit. Yes. I used to have him sit in the corner. This exact corner that I'm sitting in right now. Yeah. And some people go, why do you have Frieza in the corner? I go, because Frieza is based on the most evil thing, is based on one of the most evil aspects according to the creator of Dragon Ball Z, real estate agents. And we're doing real estate right now. This is funny to me. Oh. I actually didn't know that about Frieza. That makes mm -hmm. such a character a lot funnier. <laughs> He's based around real estate agents, which, according to the creator uh, of Dragon Ball Z, whose name I can't remember, and I should know because he was also the guy who designed all the characters in the... Ikea Toriyama. Ikea Toriyama. Don't ask me how I memorized that. Yeah, you would think a girl who's a fan of the of uh, Chrono Cross, not Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, wouldn't remember this. Nope. Oh, speaking of which, did you know there's a, there's a remake of Chrono Cross coming? I'm so happy we're getting a remake slash... Uh, is it an official release now in America? I think so. It's, I know it's um, it's, it's a remake and remaster, so hopefully they'll tidy up some of the portions that people had issues with, and just kind of bring that story, uh, you know, because I heard it wasn't bad, it's just there were some issues with it. Oh yeah. I can't so wait hopefully for... that's still... I can't, Sorry, go on. I can't wait for Chugga Conroy to do his coverage of Chrono Cross, because he did Chrono Trigger, right? And he did this really cool multifaceted thing, he goes, if you want to know what happens in the story, if we did the thi fight the final because you can fight the b final boss whenever in the game, right? In Chrono yeah. Trigger, he goes. If you want to know what happens in the corner, you can click this little button to see what would happen if we fought right now. Because he did a full one hundred percent. So if you want to know what would have vary what would have changed due to certain things you do in Chrono Trigger, there were videos that were secretly in the playlist, so you could have in a secret playlist, so you could have an idea, and it wasn't oh, spoiling. That's cool. I was sitting here going, that was the most, it's one of his most in-depth Let's Plays. One of his other ones is, um, his Xenoblade ones. Yeah, so I know both of those games, I know Chrono Trigger, like, it doesn't just, like, hand-wave the uh, time-traveling function. Oh. It really makes you think about it. And it hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. Um, but like I said, but it does feel like, I'm someone who's I like I like time traveling. I just don't like how it's always done mechanically. And sometimes it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, what do you think about how it's done? In, I was gonna say, what do you think about it in Doctor Who? Because back in the day, Doctor Who had the situation where we're, there are moments in time that are flux, which which are flux, which means these moments can change little bits, and it wouldn't really change the big timeline, right? Yeah. But there are moments that are fixed, like uh, a fixed example, uh, Dr. Martin Doctor Martin Luther King. We'll just say yeah. that. That is a fixed moment in time. Because if you change that, that's against what the rules of the Time Lords are. We cannot touch say, that. I was going to say JFK, JFK getting shot might be another one. Uh, JFK. Uh, America winning the revolution. That is a fixed point in time. Yeah. You cannot change that. Actually, that pretty much sums up my That brings it to Hania. It... Not who's weird. Like, I do like the show being about time traveling and just having, like, doing a lot of what-ifs and, like... Changing the arms and putting himself back to back in place, you know, while we'll still asking questions. However, it's uh, depending on the season, it's hit or miss. Oh, the current season's definitely a miss for me. 
Okay. Yeah. Anyone who's ever heard me complain about Judy Whitt uh, Jody Whitaker's doctor, and I go, it's not her fault, it's the writer's fault, and this is the problem with the first season. Now I always give exp exp uh, I give leeway on fir on first seasons of Doctor of a new Doctor and Doctor Who because I'm like that's the first season scuff. They're getting used to everything, right? Especially yeah, when it's not only things. yeah, it's not only is it new Doctor, it's also new writer. Sometimes I give extreme leeway. I couldn't with hers. I could not. Yeah. It was like, because every other, I swear, every episode had some variation of this line, if I was a man, you would listen to me. Like, yeah, they're, like, they're beating, you, beating you over the head of it. It's like, okay, we get it. We get it, we get it. Women are treated unequally, blah, blah, blah. And I, I get that you're like, yes, we're a woman doctor. We're different. I go, congrats. You've... What's that line from Sonic Boom that freaking Knuck that Knuckles says? Uh, establishing that there is a black glass ceiling doesn't does not help with <laughs> that makes it actually puts it back or something like that. He was uh, I can't remember. It's from Sonic Boom. Someone get the link. Yeah, I think I'm talking about someone on YouTube keeps breaking me off, off and on. Where uh, Knuckles is a feminist. That, that one. Yeah, just because I'm meathead doesn't mean I'm a feminist. Doesn't mean I'm not a doesn't feminist. Mean, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Sonic Boom cartoon win. <laughs> Weird. Like, I'm stupidly self-aware of itself. <laughs> I have to bring Izumi some dog food. Where the fuck is dog food? Okay? Point to me on the map the dog food. Okay. Okay. Let's look on the list. These are restaurants. Izupu Pond is not gonna have it. M-Store Yuku Boulevard. M-Store Hasamuchi. Stone Market. Stone Market is such a fucking tourist trap market. I, I went in there and I was just like, oh, you were there. You saw me complain. Never mind. Public Market doesn't have it. Agamora is fucking... This is alcohol. Okay, maybe M-Store. It's gonna be something so stupid. Simple, isn't it? Simple and clean. That's the way you are making me feel. Put that in. Put that in. Share. What what did you put in the not the th that that bit the glass ceiling bit? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. So you have to if you happen to be following me on my server, you know exactly the scene I am actually talking about. Huh? I. I didn't bump into you, you freaking. You're a detective show fan. Who's the name of the guy? Magnum Pi. I <laughs> like how you you got midway through the question. Oh, it feels so refreshing to hear from the outside. <laughs> right. So, uh, sometimes you answer your, as you're thinking of the question, you answer your own question. Oh, that's why rubber ducking exists. Okay, is that what I have to you, You've never heard of rubber ducking? No. You work in electronics and you've never heard of... Explain things that might have heard the concept, just not the name. Okay, so I call it rubber ducking. Basically, it's when a programmer talks to a rubber duck to explain what the point of the code is and what the code is doing and da-da-da-da-da. So basically, you're hearing an outside POV of, Where are you, buddy? Oh, Hi. yeah. In that case, yes, I have heard of that. I yeah. I fall into that pit frequently. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're, just, you're, you're just hearing an idea of sound up from the outside to see if you, just to check yourself. Yeah. To make sure you're not going crazy or something you're missing, and in the process of doing so, you act. It's a, uh, it's part of thought king, sort of uh, thought process king. But uh, yeah, you realize what the answer is now. You're saying it out loud, or how dumb it is it of a pit you bury yourself in? Now that you're saying it. So there's, it's like how the, it's like when people say, uh, "That sounded a lot smarter in my head." Like, yeah, it's that. But yes, I've I've never actually heard to refer to it as such. So this is the. I've always heard it. Bad. I've always heard it as rubber ducking because so many coders I knew basically they would do a lot of coders you would do this. Head. They had a rubber duck. They would use something physical to actually look at and talk to, and it was used yeah. for some reason a rubber duck. And you, they the actually said I think it in Beast Wars because uh, yeah. Megatron himself had a rubber duck, or he would frequently talk to himself. They yeah. even brought attention to it, and his answer, I, which I still love to this day, is because sometimes I need someone to have an intelligent conversation with. <laughs> it's a great. It's a great line. I've actually used that. I have currently plushies right now, so I can have a current- I have plushies all around me when I work. I have- we, we all know about the joke thing where I have plushie lawyer Godzilla. It's an actual Godzilla yeah. plushie I own. Yeah. So remember kids, it's not crazy unless they actually start talking back to you and who. <laughs> and when they do talk- start talking back to you, run. Yeah, seek, med seek medical help. Seek ask, medical attention. Ask questions, don't, don't assume. <laughs> 
don't assume that part of your conscience knows what it's talking about. Okay, listen, dude, dude. I know we are trying to look for a new hostess, but later. Please tell me you have dog food. Please tell me you have dog food. Udon. Please, 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 please. Yes! Thank fucking Christ. Thank, thank goodness. Thank Jesus, pony. So, uh, actually on that note, um... Jesus, pony? No, no, not on that note. The, uh, <laughs> the discussion of mental health and, uh, talking about certain, uh... Groups. Aspects. Yes? Potato, potato. Um... Yeah, just talking, just talking to himself is more fucking. Thank you. Give me a thought. The thought leaked out of my brain. Give me a minute. All right, we'll be back oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, have you have you ever had a? You ever saying about like you know how everyone talks about the little boys? The little boys in your head acts as conscience and tells you, hey, don't do this or hey, don't do that. Oh yeah. What does that voice frequently sound like to you? Depends on the scenario. I shit you not. <laughs> yeah, same here, because usually depending on the scenario, it's either like, say, it's either if it's something I shouldn't do or be more swass about, it's my mother. If it's something wild and crazy and just like for the living, it sounds like my my brother. Oh, so, I used to have... So sometimes I had this thing, this was especially a big thing that happened to me when I was uh, obsessed with TF2. Um, when I would read anything medical in my head, or talk about anything medical in my head, it would sound like the medic in my head from TF2. Which, by the way, you shouldn't take the advice from the medic from TF2 in real life. The man, the man does some weird shit. The man lost his medical license for a reason. He stole someone's skeleton. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Toys? This dog wants a toy? Apparently. Uh... Where am I supposed yeah, to get a um, fucking dog toy? Oh fuck, am I gonna have to grab a guide? Uh, Koji practicing baseball with one. Oh good, we can go play, find Koji and take his face. Hi old man. Um, uh, Koji, Koji, what is, oh, are you some badass gangsters? Don't fight them, cat, don't fight them. I know, the inner Majima voice right now is saying fight them, <laughs> see? Majima's for the stupid shit now. Uh, did my internet die? Nope, I'm oh. still here. I'm actually looking. I'm actually looking up. Uh, oh, you're looking up a y Yakuza uh, Three Remastered Guide. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. <laughs> Make sure it says remastered. Apparently, there might be a difference. We don't know. It didn't get the Koami treatment. It's just a port of a PlayStation game, but you never know. What was that fucking face I did? I'm yeah, looking for the. Looking for a toy now. Oh, it's cute. They have a chore wheel. And I put my dick on it. <laughs> I have to do dick jokes. I'm going crazy if I don't do dick jokes. Also! Whose turn is it to do the freaking washing? Whomst? Whomst? If I read Japanese, I could tell you. But I don't. I'm assuming the top part is days of the week because there's seven of them. Yeah, well, give me one second. Uh, okay, top most likely is days of the week. On the side, it's most likely the different chores, and on the inside is the name of the kids, which there are ten of them plus a Haruka. And I, <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself. This game is wonderful and slow paced. Distress. Oh no. I learned some useful English. Help you, girl. Do you need some help? I love how that's how they basically make it say like you're speaking English. Just do that font. Yeah, that's such an American font. Comic Sans would have been a more American font. Here. Sadly. What? Say like, sadly. Welcome to Kiryu's mundane life. Next, we will be watching Kiryu trim his toenails. 
Actually, that could be exciting. One could fly off and hit something. You're a kind man. You're a handsome man. <laughs> if you do, if you study more English, I can give you big reward. Ah, uh, ma'am, are you prostitute? I mean, what? You know, I was excited. We could go to Okinawa. We were doing a different place. It's Okinawa. It seems really fun and exciting. Blah. Are you regretting your life, your life decisions? I have li Buy the beginner handbook. Listen, Kiryu needs to become col needs to become cultured. Time to learn English. Kiryu, repeat after me. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, that's New Yorker English. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh. That's New Yorkers. Someone, it's I before E, except that. Uh, I before E, except, except, except that after C, C in case. Unless after way, uh, unless after A, like in neighbor and way, and Tuesday and Wednesday, and fuck it all, this language makes no sense. It's 12 languages in a trench coat. Watch. Yeah. My dad was right. The thing core isn't here. I won't touch your chest. What? Since Core is in here, you're touching Kiryu's chest? No, no. No, since since Core is in here, I'm reading what Pokemon was saying. Hold on, I think we're having audio issues. Because you keep cutting out in the middle. Yeah. Hey, let me, uh. Let me jingle the magic helmet. Stop jingling the helmet. That's my job. That sounds weird and sexual. Don't. Stop. No, you're at max, then what the fuck? Oh, because this game's fucking loud. Oh, right. Uh, that, I need to push my mic towards uh, my mouth. That might help. Might help a little bit. What is Ark messaging me for? Ah! He is the fifth person to message me the Kingdom Hearts 4 announcement. Fourth per- Fifth person to do that. <laughs> it's like I'm known for these games or something. I mean, they did just drop it, like, early in the morning, and we said, hey, guess what? Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Yeah, Not but it's also, it. it's also <laughs> announcing, <laughs> it's also announcing the final chapter of the mobile game, which I never touched, because, again, it's one of those mobile gotcha games, and I have enough addiction issues, thank you very much. And also, yes, you could get Luxord on your team. I looked that up. The chances of me getting it, slim to none. No thank you. Am I pouty about that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Also, oh, that's the other thing I'm comment on. I like Axel. <laughs> yes, yes, it's basic. I don't care. I... Axel's good bean. Axel is like pumpkin spice. Yeah. It is. Oh, okay, that, that, that sets me into a fight or flight response. Let me explain this, because I, expl I was talking to a Kingdom Hearts fan about it, and it actually made sense to us. Axel is like pumpkin spice. A lot of people, especially girls, love Axel. And love pumpkin spice. You good? You good with me on this trip right now? So far, so far with you. But sometimes pumpkin spice gets into things pumpkin spice doesn't need to get into, which has happened a few times with Axel. But more importantly, there are people who are really, really obsessed with pumpkin spice, and can get psychotic if you say you're not a fan of it. Oh, okay. Now you see where I'm going with this. Oh, oh, jeez. That's, uh... No. You know, yeah. So, basically, once again, problems with the fan base. Yay! Yeah, no offense. Okay, well, problems with fan base and also problems with, uh, hey, we're going to Ancient Scatter. It's really from overseas. Okay, we're going to put it in more things. Okay, that's a little too much. I mean, they did well with Majima. I mean, in Yakuza 4, there's a lot of Majima backstory in Yakuza yeah. 4. Not as much as Zero, but pretty good. Okay, where am I supposed to be yeah. going? Uh, I'm pretty sure Koji has one back at the orphanage. I was supposed to go to the orphanage. Uh, I was at the orphanage and then I went the wrong way because I thought I was in the wrong spot. Alright, I'm saying all this is someone who doesn't play Kingdom Hearts who goes through the whole, uh, trying to figure out the plot. I just sit here and enjoy the ride. You enjoy the ride. That's what I did. I figured out the plot and enjoyed the ride. That's, but that's because you know, brain multitasking, blah blah blah. Yeah. 
What does that say about Ze- What- <sighs> Zexion? Okay, listen, I only did the whole pumpkin spice reference for Axel. I didn't think I'd have to do a coffee for every fucking member of the game, of the organization. We're, we're gonna be here. We have to do that. Oh, we'll listen. So, Kat, what happens is Luxor happens to be the mint chocolate frappe one. Because that's my favorite. <laughs> and you have good taste. <laughs> okay. Can I ever borrow it for a bit? Okay, I don't know if this touch is apologetic. I remember, other topic, than, um. Someone is honest to God running as I remember from Origin 13, there was two April girls, one that was Kyrie's nobody. Honest also, but didn't running. she have like two? Mm hmm? Who? What? Sorry, uh, text to speech was activated. What? Yeah, I'm saying, uh, didn't Kyrie have like two nobodies in Origin 13? Uh. One was part of Rox's backstory, and the other one was, uh, Okay, so, uh, there's that's, Naomi. That's so okay, so there's Naomi, that one, which I'm not touching. And then there's Zion, who I will touch because I hate her. <laughs> ah. She is not the nobody of... She was basically a false creation made by the bad guy, if I remember correctly, off the top of my brain. Listen, I didn't give a shit about her story. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. God, let, me put it this, let me put it this way. In my fanfic, which I'm writing, yes, I'm writing Kingdom Hearts fanfiction, which has a self-indulgent self OC, self -indulgent OC within it to, that basically falls in love and makes out with Luxor. That's so, it's all my self-indulgence. I deserve it. Um... <laughs> I, I, it is published on AO3. Good luck finding it. Um, and it clearly states on there, no Zion or Roxas in the, this is a Zion and Roxas free zone. <laughs> because I care for neither of them. <laughs> the other members I'll deal with. But no Zion, no Roxas, not dealing with that bullshit. Do not care. Yep. Do not care. Understand. I also put in that fuck, uh, on that fan, in that fanfic tag, actual is comedy relief. <laughs> so yeah, it's the reason I bring it up because um, it's like how it's like me with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't, I don't get into Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't play the game. I, I know it just enough so I can go mess with my coworkers and friends who's into it. Because why not? I'm supporting them at the same time. I'm also clowning on them a bit. Yeah. Oh. Because to be fair, we, we all can agree it's like some of this is just absolutely ridiculous. You mean the motorcycle up, the motorcycle season? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that are silly. I have, uh, my friend Tom, he's huge into it. We actually did do a, uh, we did a, he's into it. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! with him on one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games. There's a new one, Master Duelist, and I sit here going, no thank you. Um, no more Yu-Gi-Oh! please. Thank you. I'm just, I, I can't do the full committed. I'm st I can't go past season two when it comes to the gimmicks. Yeah. If I go beyond it, I think it's stupid and convoluted. Mm hmm I mean, it is. Well, yes, but you know, so it feels it feels very gimmicky. Because I remember I was doing the uh, story part of uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I'm sitting here going, "So when do I get to ride on motorcycles?" Because I was in season three, and there's like, "No, no, cat, there's no motorcycles in this." Well, that's stupid. Maybe a walk around town will help me get some ideas. Okay, we're gonna walk around town. I hate these generic, vague quests. Or it's like, let's just go for a walk around town. Just take so, take a breather. Walk around. Yeah, where am I supposed to walk to exactly? Because my funny feeling is I'm going to have to go to an exact point, but I'm not going to hit that exact point because I'm going to walk in the opposite direction you wanted me to be in. Yeah. Also, yes, Zion is puppet. And that's why Zion does not exist in my fan fiction. She has no purpose. She would be a lamp. A lamp could replace her, and it would not make any difference in my fanfic. Yeah. I have nothing against her. There are some people who actually like her. I've yet to meet them. So what's a Lancer? I've I've heard a term. I'm just not sure what it means. What term? Lancer. Lancer? Like, they, like yeah. Well, there's the. There's a trope. Oh, the, there's the. Are you talking about like the Bashiel test? I was saying. I thought you just said Lancer. I was in like. I'm guessing they're like the kind of the uh, the wingman essentially. Oh no. Uh. The Lancer thing. Uh, uh, okay, I'm confused myself. Uh, no, I said lamp, lamp because. Oh, lamp. Lamp, lamp, lamp. Oh. Uh, so there's the Bashiel test, which is basically: are there two women in the show? Are there two women in the medium? And are they talking about talking to each other? And it's not about a boy. According to that, that passes the Bashiel test. Uh, Bashiel being a famous lesbian uh, comic writer. Um, yeah. Her comics are actually pretty good. I've read them. Um, 
but there's also what is known as the lamp test, which I prefer the lamp test myself, which is, could you replace this character, it could be any character, male or female, with a lamp, and would it cause it, would her being, re would them being replaced by a lamp cause any impact to the story? Yeah, okay, yeah, I've heard of that one. All these yeah. children are lamps to me. I just want everyone to know this. Using this test so far, these children are lamps to me. Maybe we can be special friends? Why do I suddenly hear Kor yelling in the distance? <laughs> no, Pomo says uh, Zion is a puppet and like, like the Stefan, Stefan plays, plays Lovecraftian lamp. Yep. Thank you for the Italian wallet. We'll see you next time. I don't. I get that this game was originally Japanese, so they have to be figuring out a way to distinct because we speak English and Japanese. And instead of doing the ever so classic, replace it with Spanish, or in Sailor Moon, replace with French. Yeah, that's what they did. I don't know how they do it in the redub yet. I have not. I haven't gotten to that episode because there's an episode in Sailor Moon where they're trying to speak English to these foreign people. And in the original dub of Sailor, the original sub of Sailor Moon, uh, in the original Japanese, they did English. And hearing the American, the Japanese actresses try to speak English, I was like, oh, bless their hearts. They did very well. I'm very proud of them. But, um, uh, but like in, fr in, uh, in the very first version of the dub, so the one made in the 90s and 2000s. Uh, they changed it from, fre from because everyone's speaking English, they changed it from them trying to speak to English to these foreign dignitaries to French. Which kind of makes sense, because French is a pain in the ass of a language. Trust me, I speak it. Yeah, I have a... I remember read some terrible any, any language, so... I remember trying to learn, um... First French, then Spanish. Pain in the ass, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, uh... If you, by chance, are willing to look up something, can you tell me where the Ryuku yeah, lockers are? Because I have, like, a 50,000 keys and I got, I need to use them. Also, to be honest, why does it sound familiar? The Ryuku like keys? Uh, what hamburger shall we have? Eh, Pig's feet! Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody will eat them. Mm -mm. Dan chicken's feet. Mm-mm. 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 Hi, I'm Cat. I don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There are also mm -mm. 50 locker keys in. I'm not looking for them. I just want to know where I put them. <laughs> See, every key but one can be found in Chapter Four. I want to get scared, so maybe I get scared. Maybe I don't know. Wait, read the map as close as you get. Oh, there's a map. <laughs> I just want to know where we drop off the keys. Okay, I'm gonna actually open up lockers. We're just dropping out the keys, right? Yeah, uh, you keep going past the M store near here. Ah, the M store. Where the fuck is the M store? Oh, there's the M store. Da, 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 da. Why am I singing Christmas music? It's in July. Get that, get that crap out of here. Get that crap out of here. No, uh, I used to hum Christmas music while playing some of the Yakuza games. You wanna know why? And this reason why is good. A lot of the game. Zero through one. One and two, I think. Zero, one, and two. Are, um... Basically set in... Around de in December. This is the first one that is not set in December. This is currently set six months after, so... January, February, March, April, May, June. June, July. They say Locker 44 is cursed. Oh, is it because the word for number... F the n word for four in Japanese sounds very similar to the word four in... The, sounds similar to the word for death in Japanese. Ever since playing Silent Hill and learning that fucking fact, I can't leave my brain. Yep. See <laughs> the explanation. A cursed locker. Spooky. Listen, unless that locker has Pyramid Head coming out clapping his fucking cheeks. Wait, this was PS3. This was PS3, so it would have been Silent Hill 2, who did not have cheeks. I'm a Silent Hill fan, can you tell? Again, I, I, I am no stranger to Silent Hill. I, I get, I game series gets weird. Mm. Spooky and weird. There, there's a problem, it's like the first I'm, three games are the best games. Everyone yeah. says that, and I have to agree. The I'm so sad P didn't get made. Mm, I'm fine. That, I, <laughs> sorry, did I bring up Curse of the 
I, I don't know if a memory you didn't want. Did you have to remind me how PT will never be made because Konami is too busy trying to basically stick to fucking freaking gotcha pawn games and foam games and pachinko parlor games because it makes them the quick money real quickly and instead of making real good quality shit because we could have had PT in honor of the tw uh, in honor of the anniversary of Silent Hill, but no, instead we got a freaking Japan only pachinko parlor game. I'm fine. I am fine. I am that fine. I, I am fine. And am I really, 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 really pissed off how Konami is now investing in the cursed thing we do not speak of? Oh, that's right. They are. Mm. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> Konami won't make a new Silent Hill game, but as soon as people were like, hey, we want to do a Silent Hill thing, yeah, sure, just give us money and we'll do the thing. Don't, don't, don't want to, you know, don't want to. Mm. I think uh, Silent Hill fans, Metal Gear Solid fans, Castlevania fans can all get together and rip on. Fuck Konami. Pretty much. Where? Do you drop the keys off at? I got it. You got it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just rolling. Thank you, Game Packs. I love Game Packs some days. Anyway, no, Konami just... Uh, just... PT had such fucking potential, in my opinion. PT could have brought back Silent Hill to the greatness that it was back in the days of the first three games. Okay? Just, just giving you an idea of what it could have been. I would love to have them actually giving a good remake, remaster of Sil the first three Silent Hill games as well. I would have killed for that, but... Because mm. Silent Hill is well-loved and cared for, but the problem is the owners of the fucking game are dickbags. And that's the nice way for me to say it. I'm being nice when I said that. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. I'm, let's, uh, I'm fine. Let's change subjects. Please, let's anyway, talk about yeah. Majima's left tit. Okay, Majima's left tit is really nice. I hate this fucking inventory system. This was in Silent Hill. This was in Silent Hill. This was in freaking Yakuza 0 and Yakuza 1, and I did not like it because you're so limited. No, let things stack, please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Press R to enter the first person mode. Use the da, 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 look around. You can get a look at things in mode useful for when searching for something. Oh, look. Found it. Hi. Yeah, it up. There's the Found it. There's the kitchen. Wow, Yay. you gotta use freaking vi first person vision to basically find the thing. Thanks. Good, we helped the lady. Give me experience. Oh, thanks for the locker key. I just. Mm. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm calm. I am zen. I am calm. This sounds vaguely illegal. You know what else sounds vaguely illegal? Murder. Vaguely, you say. Thank you for the hyper stun gun. Um, um, okay. Madam, why did you give me a stun gun? No. Reasons. <laughs> Look, look, some days we just don't want to fight. We just want to go home and enjoy our salmon and teriyaki and, you know, I love not have to deal with a, yet another gang of, of punks. I love how you're basically like salmon and teriyaki. Oh, yeah, it's the most common of the foods here in lovely Japan. Actually, yeah. No, I'm, well, I'm thinking of salmon and teriyaki for different reasons. <laughs> I'm also saying it's my grandma, so, uh, yeah, she's watching for me. <laughs> so what's she watching? Is it better than Yakuza 3, the boring, a boring edition? Well, it's the third movie of, uh, what was it, um, Ice Age, so, eh. Yeah, better than this. Oh, 
Okay, congratulations. We found someone to work for at the Hostess Club. Uh, uh, I'm fine. What kind of name? We need a stage name for our cute little angel. What are we going to name this chick? Fuck you, bitch. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Here's a question. Do you want to do the lab test? <laughs> we are not. We're not going to name her lab. <laughs> we are not naming her lab. How about Sakura? Uh, okay. Yeah. Generic as fuck. It works. How about Sakura? And now you will use that while working at the club. This feels so wrong. Then I look forward to being your number one girl. First, let's get you changed in an outfit worthy of your grace and charm. See, as soon as you walk out the door, you'll be reborn as a head-turning queen of the night. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Wait, now I'm thinking of Vampire the Masquerade. Congratulations, this game. <laughs> a beautiful standard one-piece dress. Revealing but classic. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's nothing sexier than fucking pink. Yeah, just... I can't believe I'm yeah. saying this. The purple dress is the best one, in my opinion. As you I know. I haven't seen the uh, cool one yet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's so basic. Yeah, it's this is creepy! Real. This is creepy! Can we all... You know, doing the hostess club shit, that's fine. I don't mind the hostess club shit, because it didn't get creepy like this. You must be the new guy, it makes me your senpai. I suppose I teach you the tricks of the trade. So when it comes to hostess, this customer think, Oh, fuck. Where's Majima when I need him? He's on my head. Chad, you know what to do. Chad, you know what to do. <laughs> Please, just spam it. Make me feel better. Spam the husbando button, even. She hasn't hit me. Hey. Hasn't hit yet. You've never cashed in husband, ra summon random husband? You no, I think I have. It's just... I just never caught it. Kind of freak show. That oh, one has been... Hey, it's Hancock. That one has been popular. Well, that one keeps popping up. I, I have it set to randomize. Uh, information coordinates. Yeah, there we go. Am I being a little too much? Either way, do your best and don't get stressed. Both of you guys. I'm stressed! Get a feel for your comfort from your friends by walking around the club. Then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess to fit their ideal image. I don't want to hit any... Oh, God, this is... You, you know, the hostess game was fun. It was quick, it was simple, it was a management game. You want a gorgeous girl. Drop dead gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, everyone wants gorgeous. I, ha I smell a theme. It's gorgeous. Okay, sweetie, we're gonna have to change your outfit. Apparently you're not gorgeous enough. We're gonna have to make you hotter. So excuse me, we're gonna have to set your makeup to whore. I know you hate that joke. Yeah, no, just at the same time, like, I. I we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't we? Okay, they want gorgeous, so. What gives off gorgeous? God, this is expensive. It's kind of like the one in. F hey, I found out where they started doing the this stupid aspect of the game. Yep. Uh, here we are to. Uh... Okay. So, Cat, let me ask you a question. Yeah, am I dying inside doing this? Yes. Yes. No, I mean, other than that, this between the the Barbie games you've played and <laughs> this. Which would you rather play? <laughs> which version of this can I play? Because <laughs> he knows I've been playing the Barbie games with candy, and I'm dying inside doing those. <laughs> and that's why I'm wondering which is more entertaining. The Barbie one? At least we can make some really good jokes. 
here is just like, I just want to get to the thing, I want to do the thing, and then I... There's so much of this not doing the thing in the meanwhile. Listen, we're just making a hot pretty lady, set makeup to whore. <laughs> oh god. Cause like, in the other game, it's a little bit funner and like, someone's gonna be like, Cat, why don't you just fucking get a guide like you do all the time for this game? I could. I should. I would. Fuck you. <laughs> Look, you're pretty now. Go out there. This is so fucking boring. In the other game, it was fine. Uh oh. Oh, I fucked her up good. Yay, I fucked her up. I fucked her up. She's gonna be fucking screwed. Okay, so we're- this is much more complicated than it needs to be. Do we all agree with this? Scope out the club! They want gorgeous. Oh, this is killing me. This is so stupid. I hate myself. Someone help me. Oh. Please. Hi, help me. Kill me. Please kill me now. I don't know why, but we all know how I love the hostess games and the past games. I hate this! Someone explain why! You know, I have no- I actually don't have a good, a good answer for that. I think it's because it's it so- just... it's a lot simpler, because I don't have to do the club scoping and shit. It's just like, okay, go out there, do the thing. It's get out and go. This is like, I have to think harder. That might be- I was I, either going to lean towards that or being a little bit too repetitive. It seems still a little too repetitive, so. Can I leave? Can I leave? Please tell me I can leave. I can't leave! I have to finish this! Uh... Oh, joy. This is way too complicated. Say, it's like, I want to say we're being harsh, but I, but I feel like it's... The hostess club, usually it's punctuated. It's about everything else. Here is just... Eh, it just doesn't have the same feel, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have that cool manager thing that I like. Yeah. We made no money. So, the purpose of this was story-driven? No, it's... Okay, and now she's stressed. She has no motivation. Oh, no. Okay, so that's the hostess thing. We're skipping that. All in favor of skipping it, please say aye. 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 I'll oppose. Fuck you. Plot! I just wanna go to the main plot and hug a Majima. That's all I wanna do. I wanna hug Majima and tell him he's pretty. Oh my fucking god. Oh god, do we have to beat up some guys who want to threaten to hurt a doggy? Oh. Okay, what? yes, we do have to beat them up. 
I'm okay. No, no, I'm not against beating up people who hurt doggies. <laughs> There's some exceptions. Yeah, cats, dogs, pigeons. I, I, I don't. I have a very, I have a very dim view of people who beat up pets. Listen. Pets and not swan. Listen, you're hurting an ass. Good doggy. Good doggy. Good boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Good boy. Good doggy. Best dog. Boy. He's like dog me. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, um, I did hear that Shibus are one of those other types of breeds that, um, when they, they like somebody, they bond very close into them. Oh, the same with, uh, pit bulls. Um, yeah. they they're, they're very protective. I'd like to point out, Punk Boogle, the version that we're playing, again, remaster, is basically a straight one-to-one -one port to the one that was in, uh, on the PlayStation 3. Yes, this is PlayStation 3, by the way. Not PlayStation 2, like I assumed. Yeah, which just is another point not in its favor. I'd like to also point out, when I heard it was PlayStation 3, I assumed... Oh, early PlayStation 3, where this game was originally meant for PlayStation 2, but due to the life cycle of PlayStation 2, it's going to go to PlayStation 3 instead. You know, like, you know how in the beginning of, ga of a console's games, the games still look like they belong to the previous console? That kind of scenario? Yep. I assumed that. No! This game came out three years into the freaking PlayStation 3's life. Yeesh. Is it hurting? Does it hurt? It's hurting. Yeah. And this is the rem say. this is the remaster, aka the PC port. This is like Saints Row all over again. Oh god. Granted, I I might say a lot of my favorite memories are on the PS2. It but from a game development standpoint, that's not good. I love the lot. There's a thing in PlayStation 2 that I really enjoyed, and this is gonna be a me thing because I am the horror game fan. Is it gonna date you? <laughs> Isn't it? Is it what? Did he say it's gonna date you? Uh, semi. Um. Okay. So during the PlayStation 2 era, this was very popular in the PlayStation 2 era. There was a really there was an uptick in Japanese in horror games, right? Mm -hmm. But they were experimental. You had your Silent Hills. You had your Siren. You had. Well, I think Siren might have been actually PS3, but that era. You had Rule of Rose. There was a lot of horror games from the PlayStation 2 that were very experimental and not just doing the same thing over and over again. Yes, you had your Resident Evils, and Resident Evil's great. But, um... Yeah, yeah. What? I'm saying you had Resident Evil, you had, uh... Silent Hill, you had Rule of Rose, which... I want Rule of Rose to get a play. fucking port, please! I want Rule of Rose to get a remaster, not a port. Remaster. Um, yeah, I was thinking of uh, Fatal Frame for a second. Oh, Fatal Frame. Not a good one. Yeah, this is all coming from someone who doesn't like horror games. I, I'm a wuss in that regard. So I'm <laughs> guessing you do not wish to be invited to the horror-a-thon during October. Gotcha. <laughs> I, look, I know how I am. And uh, either the horror, if, if it's terrible horror, invite me, because I will absolutely laugh at it. Point and laugh. If it's good horror, uh, yeah, I'm... No, I, I, I've been through no, I've been through that enough in France. I don't need I don't need more nightmares. Well, I wanted to do Rule of Rose one year because I love Rule of Rose. But the problem is, I like Rule of Rose's story. The gameplay can go fuck off. <laughs> because again, it was during the experimental time of PlayStation Two, which I am full. I love experimental time. I love when people get experimental. Okay, it's nice. Me like. But the problem is, the experimental they did with this one was they decided because the character that you are playing is a very weak, anxious-filled woman, her fighting isn't good. And I can understand where they're coming from it in a story perspective to make you basically feel very helpless. Yeah. But there are other ways to make you feel helpless. <laughs> and the fighting combat program in that game is garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, they want to they they say, like, you're fighting supernatural horrors. You're you're on a leg down. How it's like, and I guess you put it like you're a normal everyday person. Tell me, how often do you go slap demons in the face and expect them not to slap back? Raise his hand. Do inner demons count? <laughs> do they do they slap back so hard they do they head lock you into the next room? Mentally, yes. <laughs> Anxiety no, doth no. a bitch. <laughs> Yay. Depression doth a bitch. No, um, but... Uh, but yeah, I do like that in horror games where it makes you, oh, you could go in combat, however, you are at a severe disadvantage, so we're going to encourage you not to do that. Oh, yeah, um... Uh, fun thing in Silent Hill 1, and this is a thing... Okay, so there's a movie that was made... It is a horror movie that is technically produced by Disney. Actual horror. 
Uh, do you remember that horror movie, which is basically you die in the game, you die in real life? This was before uh, Sword Art Online became a thing. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. You, I remember quoting Frank... that when Sword Art Online came out and people were, couldn't stop talking about it. So anyways, so that Frankie Muniz game, that Frankie Muniz movie. Okay, so there is a whole bit where they're talking about Silent Hill, and it pisses me the fuck off! <laughs> it, Go on. I've never actually seen the movie. I just remember the trailer. So there's a, like, so basically the, the main ca- the main character is talking to his boss. His boss is also a video game fan. He was having issues with the he was having issues playing the uh, getting to the final boss in Silent Hill. Now I'm assuming they kept saying it was Silent Hill Four, but they kept talking about aspects in Silent Hill One. I want to point this. I think. But anyway, but I remember uh, Decker Shadow. If you happen to be watching this clip and I happen to tweet at you this clip. I'm going to point out a thing that has been pissing me off about your review ever since you made that review. Because Decker goes, why the fuck would you get rid of all your weapons? It, right, why would you get rid of all your guns? So there's a secret weapon in Silent Hill 1, which is basically a gun with unlimited ammo. Okay? But, drop that. If you're playing Silent Hill 1, drop that gun. You want to know why? Because the, next bo- the final boss is a flying boss, and it is a pain in the ass, and ammo is limited. But Silent Hill 1 made a failsafe with that final boss battle, if you have no ammo, it kills itself. You know. Yeah. Oh. It is a, it is a, it's one of those failsafes that I actually kind of enjoy. Because people were like, because there are people who either A, like me, got panicky and started consuming ammo like crazy, thinking, oh, we'll find more. That was me my first playthrough. Um, like, it's a great failsafe. And also, you know, aiming is a ty- kind of a bitch in Silent Hill 1. And I love that failsafe. And they talk about it in that movie. And I remember Decker, yes, calling you out again, Decker, going, why would you get rid of that weapon? That's stupid. If you get rid of your g- the best weapon in the game, the final boss isn't going to just fly off and go away. Yes, it does in Silent Hill 1. It was yeah. the failsafe. <laughs> like we weren't gonna put you. We weren't gonna soft lock the game. Yeah, it, it was basically. Didn't have enough ammo. Yeah, it was a prevention of a soft lock. And I remember this fun fact, and I know this fun fact. And so when De- I remember Decker complaining about that one aspect in the, in this whole Silent Hill talk, but they were talking about Silent Hill Four, which it doesn't have that failsafe in Silent Hill Four, if I remember correctly. I I've not played Four as much as I have played the first three games. I will admit to this. So <coughs> there's plot, and I'm not paying attention to it. Yep. So. Lamps. Your lamps! Your lamp, children! <laughs> so it's just like this funny little thing. It's just this thing that I remember in that movie that one reviewer just pisses me off because he said all the information wrong, and I'm like the biggest Silent Hill fan ever. So it's like, okay, I'm not the biggest ever. I don't have a shrine to Pyramid Head. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say, like, who would have a shrine the pyramid head? That's a, that's an immediate red flag. No, they're 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 mostly fans of the female persuasion who have funny little. They call them shrines, but reality, it's just the table which has all the fan which has all the fandom stuff on it. And usually, yeah. if they're a big fan of one character, it's mostly of that character. So people make a joke saying it's their shrine to, let's say, for example, in my case, All Might or a shrine to. Uh, Majima, which I do not have a fucking shrine to Majima. Anyone who keeps saying that joke, I'm gonna hit them. I only have yeah. one bit I'm... of freaking Majima merchandise, and it is a poster, which is currently still in its tube because I have nowhere to plant. It's, I was gonna say, it's like, I, I'm, I'm hearing shrine, I'm going back to Hey Arnold. Yeah, <laughs> that's... Very hard, but I'm like, I don't know, because that was definitely a serious obsession. This doesn't... It's, sound like an obsession it's just it's kind of a play on that from the people who yeah. i know who use the term shrine it's basically us saying yeah it's our hey arnold shrine reality it's it's just it's the one area in the room that has all the fandom stuff and look some people they just some people really like a fictional character and wish them to be real and with them because you know lonely people suck. listen listen we're, we're not allowed to list all my comfort characters right now yeah <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about those. Yep. And I know some people have comfort characters that would definitely be a fashion contest. Oh my god, they're making me hate myself. That's just keeps going. Anyway, let's keep. 
distract yourself from this. And I have a shit ton of comfort characters, and I know other people who have comfort characters, and we're like, yeah, these are characters who we think about whenever we're in their moments of pure low. Certain people whom I will not be speaking of, because I have made myself a mental promise to never speak of this asshole again, and try not to make it all about the let's insult this asshole show. You kind of know who I'm talking about, if you know, you know? Good for you. I do. Um, Chat, you should know too. What? Chat, you should know too. How many times have I insulted this asshole? Um, <laughs> he's not even getting a proper title anymore. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I need to make Basu look cool. There must be a good shop downtown. Ugh, I gotta go fucking shopping downtown? Downtown? Well, from downtown. downtown. This place to be great is downtown. Downtown. Sorry. Just listen to the rhythm. Ba -da 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 -da. I see your grandmother also had control of the radio when we drove or when she drove around. Actually, no. It was, uh, I'm making more of a joke to Seinfeld. Ah. Uh. Yeah, because I used to watch a lot of them. Uh, my folks. I didn't watch Seinfeld as a kid. I as said a it's, radio. it's pretty good, but that's... Uh, Largely wasted on later generations because a lot of the stuff that they pioneered or dated got started. Yeah, yeah it's, it's now very dated by this point. Oh, yeah, like it feels overdone. Oh, yeah, it's like I remember explaining to some people about Xena Warrior Princess, which is an awesome show. Highly yeah. recommend, but also remember this show was made in the fucking 90s. Yeah, it's, it's the thing I keep telling people. It's like if you encapsulate and look at the time frame it was in, yes, yeah, so, some of the tropes, some of the things they feel like. Like, a bunch of our shows are done, but here's the thing, they were at the beginning of this, not the end. Yeah. We're, we're looking at this from the end point. Yeah. I've also pointed out, like, there are certain video games which are very dated that I enjoy. Silent Hill. Um. <laughs> oh, um before we move on, I was going to point out that uh, the other thing that makes them great is that they never held themselves up on, like, a certain show as being pillar to the community, being great people you want to idolize. No, they were... The whole point of the show is, like, we're not going to talk down to you and say, here's the moral of the story. Mm. You can figure out the moral. We're just dealing with the random insanity of a, of a mundane life. Okay. <laughs> of an everyday life. So, should we pick the American flag polo or the dragon pit print polo? I'm voting dragon print. Yo, you said dra You said dragon. <laughs> Therefore, my heights are tied. Listen, even as an American, I would never, never, never wear an American shirt. I don't- I own one shirt with an American flag, and I don't even wear it anymore. Because even I feel, like, really uncomfortable with it. Uh, yeah. Because it's weird. Oh, sunglasses, of course. I, I almost want to say, like, the ten-gallon hat. Jesus, they really want to have the American- go the American Taurus look. But yes, sunglasses. Please, sunglasses. I- Thanks for stopping by. Dragon. Everyone's like, dragon. 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 Of course. Stop! Dragons are better! It's, like, it's dragons! It's like, be, be the person you want to be, unless it's a dragon, in which case, go dragon. Listen, listen, listen. Be Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Just not Frank Miller Batman. Yeah. <laughs> she just got to the drinking and she loves making cocktails with ton of cans and fruit juice. Drinking with your daughter! Well, I mean... To be fair, I was gonna say like at least, basically, as a parent, if your child, if your kid is learning, is reaching drinking age, they want to drink responsibly. That's probably the way to do it. <laughs> or it's my like, personal favorite, dad sees his son. His son has just gone through a breakup, a really harsh one. It's most likely in his twenties, not exactly twenty-one yet, but still feeling the emotions. Dad sits down. Here, drink this Bud Light. <laughs> Dad, yeah. Bud Light's mostly water, and that's why I'm okay with you drinking it. <laughs> it's like, you're allowed to feel, however, you just need to take the edge off of the feelings. Because they will, they're coming in, and they will not stop for a while. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, stop and they don't coming, stop coming, they don't stop coming. <laughs> the breakup was harsh. Let's not ask how, let's not ask how I found the hidden whiskey bottle, okay? Why is it hidden, cat? Reasons. It's not for a bad reason. It's because my family was raised... Our family ra was raised predominantly Methodist, and my grandma was very anti-drinking, and we just kept it there anyway because it's, like, the place we automatically know where the alcohol is. It's not you know, weird. I feel I like I'm, I'm over here on the end of the spectrum. Like, I have a father who was an, who was an alcoholic. His, my grandmother on his side, she, I love her to death, but uh, she was an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there's alcoholism in the family line, and I don't feel like being a statistic. 
I know from the biological sperm donor who shall burn in hell for all eternity. May a pineapple be shoved up his ass. I'm getting more and more angry with that one. Um, mm -hmm. He does have an addiction problem. He has an addiction issue. And I'm sitting here, and I remember him talking about when I, the one time I met him. I regret that. Um, he also pointed out, da, da 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 I should have just asked for medical history and leave. That's how bad it was for me. Um, he mentioned, oh, she has an addiction. You know, she might have an addiction problem because of my mother. And I go, my mom looks at him like, N no, wait, correction. He was saying that, you know, he did my mother didn't raise me right because of all my anxiety, my depression, and my uh, constant need to um, drink caffeination. I see. He was like, she has an addiction. I'm like, caffeine is a perfectly fine and handleable addiction. And because of uh, all the stories I write about you, yeah, this is the most minor of the addictions I could have had. Suck it up and talk to her. Talk to her! Be a man! Be swift as a coursing river! Join me in this. Come on. Come on, we're doing Mulan. Come on. I'm, I'm just trying to move the next line. Be a man, you must be swift as a coursing river. With be all the man. force of a great typhoon. With all be the strength all of the raging fire. As serious as the dark side, dark side of, of the moon. moon. By these, sta by these standards, Kiryu is a man. <laughs> yeah. So is technically oh, so is so is technically Majima. Original Mulan was amazing. We don't talk about the remake; it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. so, what happened? Someone else butt in on your confession? No, it was all me. I tried, but I couldn't get myself to talk to her. Kiryu, grab his face. Grab his face gently. Grab his face gently, like baby bird. Talk to her. I hate... These are things in dramas I hate. It's like, I can't confess my love. I'm like, yeah, I have anxiety and I'm saying talk. Hey, Kat, why don't you just ignore... It's like, Kat, you have anxiety. Why don't you talk to that one VTuber you want to collab with? <laughs> yeah, it's easy to give out the advice that, uh... Hey, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> do as I say, much. not as I do. Because <laughs> even Numb is like, Kat, just jump over the anxiety. Do the thing. I got a shake with my burger combo. Almost too much food for me to eat. How many burgers does it take? Does that make now? Importantly, did you ask her about the movie? Okay, she goes about movie theater. She was at the right time asking me. She's serious about this girl. Let's see. Write a letter. I think they want me to tell him to write a letter. Come on. I think they do. No, I, I bought a burger I'm for, instead. I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the the whole well, no, the letter got mixed up with somebody else's trope, mm. or something along those lines. Because this is what it feels like is coming. Send her a text message. She he might not have his, her number. Ask her out. Ask her out. All you got to do. Come on. Do it. Straighten out that spine of yours and do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Be Make your dreams come true. true. I love how it's weirdly uh, intense and intimidating and yet inspiring. How did it go? Best I can manage was ordering more burgers. Uh, I don't understand how I can even eat that much. Guess, uh, guess it's up to me to do something. Let's see. Send her a text message. What's wrong? I don't have her number. Uh, that should have been your first reaction to the session. What else? Uh, let's see. I'll go tell her how you feel. What? What? Look, you're not getting anywhere with this. I'll talk to her. Just follow me in. What? What? Pipe down. Follow me. Come on. That's it. I am Kiryu, King of Wingmen. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will guide you, young Padawan. Then here's hoping she doesn't mistake. Here's hoping we don't have that mistake, that confusion trope where it's like, oh, you tell me you like me? No, no. He is. He is this person. Sorry, I'm more interested in older gentlemen. Oh! Older... Mm. What? No! Hey, what's the big deal? This is how you're supposed to go at all. What am I, the bad guy here? No, I mean, you think you're... Why didn't you just ask me out on a date? Ha! Ugh. <sighs> Teenagers are stupid. Yep. Yup. 
I can I cannot be emphasized enough. I don't care if I didn't get full experience for that. He's a dumbass. And you know what? Maybe, maybe you don't deserve her. Or she doesn't deserve you. Something. Oh, somewhere to, somewhere in that category. Nah. Have you seen my daughter, Kent Fenner, and she's wearing blue? Calm down, tell me what happened. Oh, God, she lost. How do you lose your... This is why leashes are a thing. That sounds really disturbing, I know. Oh, oh I was just saying, are we talking about the dog or, or the, We're talking, the child? You know the harness leashes <laughs> yeah. for children? I had one. I ended up perfectly fine. No, no, correction. Uh, I had one that was a wrist one. Yeah, uh... Mom was tempted to put one on me. Because, you know, it's like, we there's a running story. Like, okay, here's what we do. My Both my children, I, my mother raised two boys. And she she knew one was going to be different from the other, and one was going to be a lot more trouble when she, she came down to this conclusion. Okay, if I was to get a box, <laughs> just put my child in the box, the first child, the oldest child, would sit in the box, use their imagination, and be happy. And I would turn my back, turn back around, they'd still be there. You put me as a child in the box, turn around, when you turn back, I'm gone, the box is gone, and there's something crashing in the other room. I have many questions to ask. Yeah, let's... I, I don't know why, but why specifically a box? No, Just, uh, my question is, did you use your imagination while using the box while crashing it into yes. the other room? <laughs> ah. Yes. Ah, you pretended you were a skier. Amongst other things. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. skier, race car driver, I don't know. Rocket pick ship. A, pick a thing. Rocket ship. Going on a trip yeah. on our magic rocket ship. Going and now we're gonna run. Now we're going to put it on the stairs. <laughs> Look, Child Me was not very smart. He was just <laughs> Child Me was very dumb. Child Me would have done the same thing if I lived in a two-story house. Yeah. Because teen, uh, early twenties, late teenager me. You wanna know what she did one time at her friend's place that had a double that had two stories? We took her mattress and we slid down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, listen, I've always wanted to do this as a kid. Can we do it? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, could, I could not lie, I would have done the same thing. And that is why I don't think I should have a two-story house with a mattress. Yeah, Child Me was... Really stupid. Stupid, was really stupid, but was very courageous, I should, let's put it that way. I was a brave. But I mean, had, I had no shame, I just said things. And did things. Now that's a sign of autism when the child doesn't have a fucking filter. Go hug your e aunt. Why? You don't like her. Mm. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> Kind of more look back, more rest. Yeah, all the signs were there. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, hold on, I'm just reading. Yeah, well, what, I'm gonna say, what are we doing for plot now? Uh, we're uh, plotting. I'm basically right now trying to basically increase my morale and heat gauge with the white tiger spirit. You know, my plan, we just call that white claw. Lost about three cats of white claw. Okay, we're good to go. What? I was gonna say, you said white claw, so I just thought the drink. That is what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is white claw? Don't ask. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, baby. If you know, you know. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm not feeling so good. If you feel better, Miss O, we're gonna give you a fashion makeover. Wow, really? Yes, because nothing says male bonding like a makeover. Mind you, when I was a younger person, people go, we should give Kat a makeover. Touch me and I will stab all of you with the freaking eyelash curler. I always felt like, I was always the kid that was just, uh, okay, we're gonna make you look all nice and wonderful. Okay, in three, two, one, and everything's a mess. Again. <laughs> hmm. This is why it's like I'm so glad I'm not a flesh uh, a flesh streamer because the, because when I used to do have to show my fit, fleshy face back when I used to work with when I did uh, stuff with Decker yeah Decker I worked with him for a while and then I stopped then we stopped long story um I had to do the makeup and everything because everybody in his fucking audience would comment going wow she looks like a fucking corpse thank you I'm pale and have naturally the dark baggy eyes what's that. You're gonna love this! Ta-da! Short jacket, baggy pants, and of course you can't go anywhere with a nice school bag. Um, come on, it's my old gear from when I was a junior! Girls go gaga over this bad boy stuff. 
Mm. I'm still in elementary school. I'd rather take things that Uncle Cass picked out. Hell yeah, dragon, dragon polo for the win. Yeah. Oh, I'll hear you just said the word vibe. Oh, he's adorable! Look at him. I think he looks cool. We're not allowed to talk about my taste. Aw, people go. Yeah, he actually does look pretty good. I would want that shirt. I hate polo shirts. Fun fact, I hate polos. Um, <laughs> ah, autism. Um, yeah, I wear, I wear I'd wear that shirt. It's. I'd wear it's yeah. yeah, that shirt I would wear. Survivor, what the heck is this shirt? It's called Fashion! In the 2000s by a former Yakuza. Fashion! Look, hey, I think the kid, I think the kid pulls it off well. Yes. Oh, poor kid. Aww. Also, aww. Rejected. Uh, Punk Moogle says she... Oh, sorry. Punk Moogle says they think you are fine the way you are. Aww. <laughs> You're so sweet. I won't murder you. Wait, that sounds like a threat. Don't do that, cat. We've talked about these jokes. Oh. Yeah, no. Don't treat the people who are giving you possible, possible reinforcement with negative, <laughs> negative comebacks. Can't give up after one small failure. Don't worry. Then you'll just have to prove you're better than him. Why are the elementary school students talking about going to movies with other elementary school students? Is this a normal thing in Japan and or normal people's lives? Because in my life it wasn't. I was an elementary school kid. I went home and played Barbie games. No, I went home and played... Let's see, it wasn't GTA. What was I playing at the time when I was in elementary school? In elementary school I would have played Barbie games, Clue Finders, as well as Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World. And Pokemon. Yeah, I think cha change out uh, the bar games with uh, include finders with Math Blaster and I don't know whatever in Star Trek games and everything else is about the same. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same, bro. Oh, and Nancy Drew games. Never played Nancy Drew games. Uh, if you're fa if you're a fan of point and click adventure and puzzle games, you'll fl you'll like it. If you hate the sound of Nancy being a fucking condescending bitch, you'll be. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I I played Monkey Island games so. Yeah, uh, no, see, the running gag is with me and, uh, Candy, who we both have, were, uh, Nancy Drew players. Um, then Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew, after a while, like, when she says, it's locked, it gets so annoying, you just want to be like, shut up, Nancy, fuck off. What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, shut the fuck up, Nancy, I know it's locked. You don't have to say it like that. that. I need to use a thing. Then why don't you just automatically use the thing when I click on the thing? I'm not See, that's why I like, angry. That's why I like the tongue in cheek humor of, uh, of the Monkey Island games. Oh, yeah. Because they, they did. Whoever was right definitely had a lot of fun with it. The perfect omelet. Okay, sweetie, why did you reject the guy? And why are you making an omelet? And how are you. Oh, she's making bento. I've always wanted to make those rice omelets, those look delicious. Okay, where the fuck is our child? Small tiny human who I have to take care of and feed. If investment for the future, where are you? Investment for the future. Child who I'm living precociously through because my life is not interesting enough would not be something that freaking Kiryu would say. <laughs> Kiryu, your life is very interesting. I don't know how to tell you this. Oh yeah, Mario Kart and Banjo Zero. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I didn't. I didn't have an N64, but I had my best friend did, and we played a lot of. <laughs> I used to go over to his place sometimes and just play a lot of uh, N64 games. So I'm gonna give you an idea about consoles. Minus my PC, uh, these are the consoles I owned as a kid. Super Net, Super uh, SNES. That's it. Until I bought myself a Switch. Okay, I have a question. Do yes. Emulators count. Oh no! I, in my scenario, emulators do not count, but uh, I do. I do. I had a lot. I had so many fucking um, <clears throat> totally legit from uh, John Nintendo. As a... Yes, we had. To we had. I. I also had very legit games from John Nintendo. Don't. Don't mm -hmm. at me. The the N the uh, you know the N four twenty just blazing. 
<laughs> That's the joke that. Uh. So wait, who am I supposed to do? Rayona turned Mitsuha down. I wonder why. <gasps> who fucking cares? Ow. T, what's the bonk for? Hi, T. I didn't say anything lewd. I can't believe I'm saying this. This has been a very non lewd stream. Drinka. It's kind of hard to find something to lewd. <laughs> we're... It's like, I can't believe we're oh, on a okay. desert island. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Garrus just talked in my ear. Sexy. Sexy, 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 Garrus. Not Garrus. Sexy, sexy, Gladio. Mm. <laughs> Did you just. Mm? You can't. Mm, my man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Gladio looks good, all right? I, I can say, I can say that and not have a problem. Oh, yeah. Okay, seriously, where am I supposed to fucking go? Child! Tiny human! Am I stupid? Quite the ribbit. Was that, was that, was that, was that line go? Oh yes, uh, I'm comfortable enough in my own shit. In your oh. own masculinity. Yes. Oh, Iggy, I didn't know you liked me that much. Iggy, okay, okay, seriously, go find me a guide. <laughs> oh, there, there, there's the pop-up. What did you? Gladio! Oh, Gladio is hot! I like you, the Gladio, Gladio. Okay, that's just a weird. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's the light switch thingy. It's that little white plastic thingy you have on a light switch. I thought it was a weird bug crawling on the wall in the game, and I'm like, why did I put that in there? Oh, yeah, we have to get, get, get away from the street to catch up. Yeah. Doggy, where's Tiny Child? Okay. Uncle Gaz, what? What's the rush? Well, I'm gonna hang out with some friends from school and I was trying to make a bento. Oh god, just ask me to do it. But I can figure out how to make I can't figure out how to make duro wakashi. Not googling that. So not googling that. I know they explain what it is, I just need a visual. Duro Wa. Uh, phrasing? Ka. Dura wakashi? Dura wakashi. I don't speak Japanese. That's what it is? I don't think you're gonna have a problem making this, Rona. It looks very simple. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> Basically. I've come up with a new recipe. Bunk Google, if you donate 15 bits, you can get that line, actually. More or less, I'm not a local, but I can manage. Really? Come teach me! It's, it's it's Taro. How fucking hard is it? It's Taro with porky bits. How dumb can I be? Fire? Mm -hmm. I'm about to insult someone's culture trying to do this, aren't I? Probably. <laughs> oh, Kiryu can make his curry. Kiryu, learn how to make noodles. Anyway, go up. I, I, again, that's... Well, my hair is talking, but man, cur curry sounds great. Curry's always great. Yeah, but awesome. when it's the same red cur- red curry? Brown curry? Curry. What are you making, bitch? Uh. Yeah, I thought- uh. That's true. You do, you do want to add variety. I'm not gonna lie about that. Child who get You gave you that shirt! It's hilarious! Excuse me! I liked that shirt. That purple shirt looked nice. Can you give me up? Are they talking about Roman? Y'all are in elementary school. Last time I checked, the eldest you guys could be is like 12. 11. Why are you girls talking about boys like, uh... Yeah. Okay, who I'm wrote not, this? Not... <laughs> like, I don't watch teen... I didn't watch teen dramas when I was a teenager when I was supposed to be the fucking, you know, age for it. Because I was like, no, no. I also thought I was broken because I sit here going, I don't like any of the people at my school. Thing is, I discovered this easily. I discovered this when I was older in life. The people I like, the people who went to my school did not interest me. This makes me sound like a snob, but it wasn't. It's just none of them hit that niche I have. There was one person I was interested in, and even then it was kind of like, I feel like I should be, and then I never really worked up the curse to do anything else. Oh, yeah. See, and even then, I was constantly self-questioning. Yeah, I was too busy swooning over fictional characters. This might have been a sign. Although some people are going, you might be aromantic. Is it aromantic? It's the one that's like, yeah, you have feelings for like fictional characters, but yourself with real humans, it's just weird for you. I might, I don't want to say I'm that, but it's just like, 
Someone pointed that out to me, and I'm like, please note, I'm already confused with my own sexuality enough as it is. Thank you. I'm confused. There's a reason why it says LGBT and not just bi. No, oh, that's also because I usually have a lot of guests who are of the other uh, the, uh, the other flags. The other nations. Your nations now. Ugh. Raise your hand if you give a shit about this plot. Ow. Why am I getting bonked? Albert, we're talking about very serious shit right now. About maturity and growing, and how most likely whoever wrote the fucking script talk with the two girls talking don't know how elementary girls talk. Uh, like, I don't know. It's two. It's two. Uh, it's two girls. They talk about boys, primary right? Primary school. Like, yeah, they talk about boys, right? No, right, right? no. Is that how this works? No. no, not at that age. Not at that age. No, I'm sitting here going, I'm a little. When I was a little kid, I wanted to talk. I was talking about taking over the planet. No, what? I uh, went to see a movie. I sounds like a pretty letdown. Okay, so where's the fucking movie? Do you have the walkthrough? Yeah, I do. Give me a minute. Please, just tell uh, me where the fuck see. it is. Let's see, this is part of the sub story, isn't it? Nope, this is main story. Ah, yeah! Hurts further, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see, guys. Seriously, dude, what's with all the fucking bonking? I'm not saying anything perverted. For once. We're still in chapter three, aren't we? Chapter... Chapter four, the man in the sketch. Ah. Okay. Why does this guy in a hoodie... Sir, you don't deserve to be wearing a hoodie. Yeah, they not. You, you don't try to Quick time events, bitches! <clears throat> and that should be the end of it. So not baseball yet. So just dealing with Camus guys and telling this very professional guy is not telling me where the uh movie theater is. In addition to the sub stories that popped up, five more sub stories are now available after you do baseball. I'm not doing sub stories. Not sub stories here in Okinawa, at least. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, Albert. This is the least sexy game ever. I'm not even doing my normal Kiryu lusting. I'm, yeah. It's the Sahara. It's, uh, it is the Sahara. Is, uh, yeah. The. That, it's not a very flattering stream. <laughs> Punk Moogle. This stream has been the most unlewd catch stream I've seen in a while. I think the last time it was this. The last time it was not this lewd was. I can't even say in the fucking beginning of my streaming career because I used to say. In the begin When I did Final Fantasy XV, I was still. Making dirty, dirty jokes. Um. Including the phrase, and I quote, I would eat a, I would eat Gladio's ass like mochi. And tap him like a... F and also, I would tap Gladio like a freaking maple tree. I want to put out, those are phrases I said on that stream. And those were, that was my first game I actually seriously started streaming. So, like, this is this... This is so weird. I have not said anything perverted. I don't... Even in Darkest Dungeon, I could have made a crack or two about certain things, like them having to go and take care of their prostitute, going to the prostitutes and shit. I could make a, a little lewd crack about that. But this, this has been nothing. Nothing. I'm confused. Oh, shit. No, so I'm gonna send this to you, so you know, so I don't give things away. Uh huh. Oh, you're just sending the message. Yeah, I'm gonna just put this in the usual spot. You'll see it pop up. Secret channel secrets, yeah. Yes, your channel seems. Again, it is so. I'm confused. Kes confused. Trey confused. Thank you for five thousand yen. I, 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 I. I don't like this feeling. I really don't. Yeah. Cause I'm like, 
even if I'm playing the video game, occasionally a lewd thought will slip into my brain or like fanfic ideas. I got nothing. There's, yeah, it just it just feels like this it's very dry at this point. No, I we're almost through. This is drier than the fucking Sahara. So where exactly is it? Hold on, let me check the secret text channel. Yes. Dink. Donk. Literally where where man sketched where I think we are. Okay. Secret text channel. Secret text secret channel. Tunnel. Survivor changed his icon and it confused me. Upon returning to the orphanage, you'll find Ryuka there. Also, Mr. Antonio has Ryuka in it. Doesn't go well. Da, 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 da. You can either pick out an outfit for Mr. Sir and a Sotary when you can. Uh, well, we won't go any further. You'll learn a bit about the real reason Ryuka turned him down. The boy is yikes, bro. Anyway. Wow, this is such a professional fucking thing. Anyway, Mr. apparently went downtown alone. You have to track him down. I'll cut to the chase and tell you that he's near M Store on Ryuku, Ryuku Boulevard. Thank you! There we go. Just want to make sure. Here, let me give you this paragraph so you're close enough. No, I'm just sitting here going, who wrote this fucking guide? I hate it. Like, dude, just get to the point. So, which one is it? Uh, Emso on Ryuku Boulevard. Okay, where the fuck is Ryuku Boulevard? Ryuku Boulevard! Ryuku Boulevard. Okay, so the M store over here. Okay, 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 and we are there. Okay, okay, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. I got GPS! I can pigeon! Oh my god, these pigeons are even fucking lacking. <laughs> I was like, hey, 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 let's, fo let's focus up. We, no. we, need to get, we need to focus so we can get through this porch. Get back to the fun stuff. There's fun stuff? Where is it? Point to it. <laughs> I've yet to find it. Ish. It should be somewhere soon. No, I'm just running. Uh, no, there's pigeons, and I'm running through the pigeons, and I'm sitting here going, Oh, pigeons, that's going to be fun. You know, because running around through the pigeon piles in uh, Yakuza 0 was fun. Apparently, the, the god I had is the... Is the good... FAQ. It's the FAQ of the month winner for September 2019. Joy. Uh, 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 in pain i am suffering i am like i'm not even having it's dead dead that okay <laughs> i got nothing here let's see the other guy that's there's only two guys for this only two for pc at least oh thank god wait that's riona uh, must be her friends at school there's that classic uh there's that classic single page long ass text I'm used to. Is there at least some fucking paragraph breaks? I've been to a hotel pool before. No, it's nothing. Why the yes, quasi now? Riona has a gross burn on her arm. So? Cool, she's got some battle scars. She kicked ass in battle. Okay, asshole, that's it. I'm beating up children. Kiryu, I know you have a rule against beating up kids, but I might make an exception. Here is, can you be can you beat up a child with another child and still say the child children are fighting? I know it's frowned upon, but still. I'm I need Dude, to know. kids, come on, leave her alone. That's it. Mama bird activating. <gasps> oh here, just got to Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I mean I knew little kid I mean Children cruel, yes. Children cruel. Children savage. Wow! Go, tiny child! Beat him up! 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 This is Majima brain talking now. Majima brain has activated! Beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! Go, me too. I think I'm saying that right. Listen, we know I'm fucking. We're, we, we're, we're two very American people. Beat him. Really? Dude, it's don't. It's all the worst. It's like, no, no you're, you're the worst. worst. You're the one who basically re tried to pull up her arm sleeve to show up her freaking burn, which she was clearly uncomfortable with. Hold hands, kids. Aww. 
Dude, he's a boy. Of course he doesn't think your scar is gross. That's generalizing, Cat. <laughs> if this was done with teenagers, this wouldn't be so creepy in my opinion, but it's still creepy. I don't even... At least for teenagers, I wouldn't feel this... Uncomfortable? As yeah, uncomfortable? Less uncomfortable? Yeah. Aww. They're hugging. It's adorable. Tell me we get to plot now. I mean, this is plot, but let's get to better plot. Majima also, husband, I miss you're you. You're standing right there watching all this transpire. Well, he's not allowed to hit. He's like, oh, there's a scene from an English movie. I can't remember, English show, and I can't remember what it was, where the kid was like talking to this grown up going, you can't hit me. You're an adult. He goes, I know I can't hit you. Grabs the kid, grabs another kid's hand, but he can, and smacks him with his hand. <laughs> the kid smacked you, not me. <laughs> Or it's, a, it's, a, it's a teach. It's a teaching moment. It's a teaching Some moment. Much, you guys, gas down to your bullies. Yes, teaching. My other personal favorite. My other personal favorite is in uh, Scott Pilgrim, where Scott's like, "I can't punch a girl. Fine, I'll punch her. I'll use you to punch her." I highly doubt Majima's gonna appear. I am. I am. This is weird. Is this what it's supposed to be like to be a normal v a normal person to not have a single lewd thought in your brain? I don't like it. No offense. No offense. But you know what I mean? It's like there's nothing in this I can poke fun of and make fun of. You know? Am I making sense better now? Survivor? Did my internet die again? That's sorry, Hadley. Oh, my internet Hadley. died. My internet almost died. No, but it's like, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out, what is this supposed to be like? This feels, I got nothing to make fun of. Yeah. There's it, nothing. It just... There's no material for me for entertaining. That's the problem. There's zero material for me to play off of, and it hurts. It's not quite slice of, I mean, it's a bit slice of life, but it it's is. not like entertaining slice of life or like thought provoking. It's just. Life. It. Yeah, it's just life and kind of dramatic, kind of not. <laughs> Boring children shit that I don't give a shit about. Yeah. Like, I, I can't. I, fun fact about Kat, she doesn't like Slice of Life anime because she thinks it's so BORING! I feel like a lot of this could have just been told in cutscenes. A lot of this could have been just cut out. There's a lot of shit here that I don't think even provides anything to the main story. There's no point to it. Like, unless these kids are about to get fucking... No, cat, don't say that. Then you're gonna feel guilty when it does happen. If it does happen in the video game. Yep, don't go down that avenue. Really? I, I've, I've gone down that route and I felt terrible for it. Like, there's no rhyme or reason for any of this. None. Zero. There's nothing that like, oh, I'm learning something from this. Oh, I'm going to learn a new. This is. This is. This... I get this is a nice, calm, relaxing period for Kiro, just to kind of show that he's relaxing. It being like, you know, just being a genuine human being and just... But that's not Kiryu! Yeah. At the same time, it's like, it's like, if you were gonna do something like that, just give him, like, hey, a nice break of... Sure. Where it's just not constantly going from one crisis to the next. Like, you could have shown... You could have shown Kiryu having a good time by doing a nice simple cutscene. A nice beginning cutscene where it's like, him with the orphanage, orphans, playing baseball making dinner, hugging, skip all the drama shit, and then it would have been like a dramatic, you know, all of it, it's happy, and then then dramatic moment, dun dun dun, and we'll be done. We're good. Cause yeah, this basically feels like a very largely interactive movie at this point. David Cage makes better interactive movies than this. Oof. Oh, and I hate David Cage. This is boring, this is boring, this is boring, this is boring. Yeah, yeah, boil up chat. We're gonna be here for a bit. Just trying to get through this. I'm going as fast as I fucking can. My thumb's hurting. Let me guess. 
He wants to join. He's scared to join. Now he can join. All the kids are letting him join. Yay, fun. Anyway, who cares? Can we get to the Yakuza now? It's like, it's like part of like, okay, remember when Rudolph couldn't join in the reindeer games? What if we went through each and every game and told you he could not join in? Would that sound inter Does that sound interesting? Does that sound fun? Okay, so you know... Okay, you know how Harry Potter ha starts at the beginning. You get a little slice yeah. of what his life is as a muggle in the beginning of the first book. We're yeah. use the first book for this. Now, here's another thing that's interesting. Tyra Banks, well-known supermodel of the universe. She's not a supermodel of the universe. She just claims she is. Um, mm -hmm. Basically wrote a teen... Wrote a, ser a, a single, which was supposed to be a part of a trilogy, uh, teen novel books. Which, you can clearly tell she ripped off some Harry Potter shit in it. Because it's basically, all these girls are going to, uh, special selected few chosen girls are going to be the top models of the universe. It's so stupid. It has, it's so stupid that no one believes this book was shadow written because of how crazy and stupid it is. Oh, jeez. But the first ten chapters. Ugh. I think it's ten. It's a lot of chapters. Are dedicated so to the home life of the main character, Tuki. The whole draw of this book is the quote-unquote magical school of modeling. And, like, we have the day-to-day -day life, the getting of the thing, the other thing. Oh, baseball, great. Um, and all that jazz. But! Ugh. Uh, montage, then we skip to action. Montage would be nice. Baseball? I hate baseball. I like, I like baseball, but that's because everyone was here into, at the time, was here football? Or kickball. I didn't care for either one of those. Two. I didn't care for any of the sports. I just read. Me. I can't hit baseball's worth of shit. You want me to suddenly do this? Let's see how bad my timing is, everyone. What's the point of this? I have to hit ten of them. We're gonna be here for the next twenty thousand years, everyone. Yeah, there's no specific way you have to hit them. Just hit them back to kids by pressing the confirm button when the ball gets close. Yep, and do it when it's close enough. I have to go to the rest of them. I will be right back. I'll tell you how many balls I hit by then. <laughs> the one time Kirio for bad does not immediately inspire joy. <laughs> I know, and it hurts. For the first time ever, baseball in Yakuza is boring. Even the batting cages are more exciting than this. <laughs> Well, I finally figured out the timing, so that's great. Yeah, and also, Punk, like what you said, montage, then action. I would have loved a montage. Montage would have been fine. I don't care if the cutscene would have been 30 minutes long. It wouldn't have been a pain in the ass like this is. <sighs> Come on, hurry up, kids. Hurry up, please. Just get... <laughs> Bop one of the kids in the head. Bop one of the kids in the head. Bop one of the kids in the head. That's all I'm asking. Throw a baseball and beam a kid. Bean a kid. Bean a kid. Bean it. Bean it. Bean it. Hit the kid. Hit the kid. Uh. Bean harder. Just smack one of the kids in the face with a ball. What's the point of this? And what girl sounds like that? Loose. So exciting. I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather be fucking, fucking. I'd rather be fucking. <laughs> baseball! I know baseball is like more loved in Japan than it is here in America, but even I'm like, ugh. Ugh. All you need is a little confidence. 
This is so boring. <laughs> Please. Buckshot. You're gonna enjoy the freaking slow pace of the beginning. You're gonna miss it when you get when you finally get to the plot. Ugh, I'd rather be in the plot right now. Punk Moogle, how long was the freaking Roxas prologue? It was like, what, three hours? I'm doing math right now. I think this is longer than the prologue to Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> like, yeah, it says chapter four, but I'm still counting this as beginning until we get to Komochiro. Do you hear me, young man? He's a fragile boy. He can't be playing sports with you, reference. Akira, why do I feel like you have that lovely little... What, what's it called? What's that disease, the, that thing where we, where people just purposely make the person sick so they can be basically taken care of by them? Munch oh, Munchhaus or Punk Foxy. That one. Like, even my mom... Yeah. No, I can't hear you, cat. Sorry, I'm angry. Angie mode. Ah. I don't see why not. Does he have some kind of health condition that keeps him from exercising? Well, no, but baseball is absurdly dangerous. Oh, you're one of those mothers. Mm. How dangerous can it be with a rubber ball and a plastic bat? I was about to say, actual baseball uses much harder. What's the teacher fucking doing here? Who cares? Parents are assholes. The PTA is full of a bunch of bitches. Fuck the HOA. There, I have just so... Yep. I love the idea of me doing a video where it's like, I will now explain the first four chapters of Yakuza 3. Uh... That is your explanation. Enjoy. <laughs> uh... Am I wrong? No, you're not. I'm also... Waiting for, I'm waiting for uh, pizza, dialogue to catch up and just. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. You guys let me play with you, and I had to go mess it all up. Oh, poor kid. I get out. It's fine. He liked baseball. Oh. What are you saying? You must have hit your head, or even harder than you realize. Don't get any ideas about seeing these awful orphans. I fucking hate these parents. Yeah. I fucking hate these parents. I want to. Okay, this is going to be the most evil, well not evil, most petty thing I could do that wouldn't cause me to get in legal trouble. I suddenly have an urge to grab a bunch of mint seed and throw it in their gardens. And their lawns. <laughs> oh, so, okay, I guess wait again. Um, yeah, at least on the bright side, I think this is the last section. Thanks. I think so. You know what the title of the stream is called, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're blaming you. <laughs> Go ahead. I know what I set myself up for. You set yourself up for a lot. Oh, good. Cutscene. Carry you right now. Not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys. Oh! So he just snitched on the bully who happens to be the son of the teacher and the mom is basically going full Karen. I'm okay with this. <laughs> the one time Karen powers are used for good. I mean, there are other times, but that's one time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Fire. Helicopter mom. Oh, she's a helicopter mom. That's the term I couldn't remember. Can someone please give me a cookie? I want a cookie. Someone buy me a pizza. <laughs> on my throne, there's pizza. No, there isn't. I wish you could put pizza orders on throne. That'd be great. Just have your special pizza order ready, delivered to your house, done through your throne. Yes, we're leaving. Haruka, we're leaving. We're going to Komochiro. We are going to go see Daddy Majima and be happy. Daddy? Yes. Wait, wait, we gotta take the orphans with us? No! I don't want to take the orphans with us! Ugh, we're taking the orphans with us. 
No, you're staying here. Staying here. Staying here. Finally, it's over. あ、さっき。わけあって話をすることができる。おお。ポサキ。さっきのお父さんは。I Ah, oh, how tender. The children accept her. I wish... Hello? Did I hear a cough? I heard something. I'm going crazy now. Great. <sighs> oh, God, it's Tim. Tim, what are you doing here? <laughs> Tim. 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 You know how I love the Yakuza games? Tim? Yes? You know how I love and I do the horny jokes all the time with the Yakuza games? How horny are you right now? What is drier than the Sahara? <laughs> oh. I have had... I have had zero. Zero. This is the most... Does this, this game have zero horny vibes? Right during those stupid bullshit with Kiryu and his adopted children? Yes. It's like so boring. You know how you know those types of slice of life and those slice of life shows that are super super boring. There's no drama, there's no excitement. It's just life. It's that's basically what this is. It's Kiryu's life in o in Okinawa. Which you know, Okinawa, beautiful vacation spot. Would be really fun and interesting to to experience. This is what, this is why the freaking original create the original director of Yakuza Three, Yakuza One and Two, came down from his mountain and was like, "What the fuck is this shit? That's it. I'm doing four. No one touches three. Touches this but me." <sighs> why? What the fuck? What did I activate? Um, excuse me? Um, y'all see nothing. Um, oh god. Is Survivor just not here? Survivor had to go to the bathroom. Ah. Also, appropriate. So do I. Don't leave me alone with this creepiness. Too late. I need to pee. <sighs> what the fuck was that all about? Who are these two? Should I know these two? Oh my god, it's that bitch. It's this asshole. Yeah, weren't you pregnant with his child? Where's that baby coming from? I see Macho's back in the suit. How much uh Kiryu? Yeah. Kiryu's back in the suit and we got the weird crazy couple again. Uh I need I need I need alcohol. I need alcohol. This game is making me want to drink. This game is making me want to drink. 
I knew this game was the black sheep of the family. I knew this game was the black sheep. I didn't think it was this bad of a black sheep. I need... I need a... I need... I need beverage. I need to... You say you need to hydrate. I need to... Not water. I wish it was not water. Um, anyway. Uh, we're gonna do a, um... Ad break. And, uh, you guys behave. Yes, the chaos will consume me, and I'm going crazy. I have a freaking snack now. Yay! Ask what the snack <laughs> is. I have a Swiss roll. Yay, Swiss rolls. Teeny tiny little Debbie Swiss roll. Not even a little Debbie, it's a Swiss roll. I needed something to snack on because I'm... Oh my god! Before I head to Kermotro, I should go shopping with Haruka to make sure- and we'll go to the market downtown. We're going to a fucking- we're shopping now?! Ugh! Next, Kiryu is going to paint the house and watch the freaking paint dry. And then during that, he'll also freaking do his fucking taxes. By himself. Christ. No help. What? Just how dull and tedious this sounds. Exciting, doing taxes. I'm making a joke right now, right? It says it's like, we're gonna go shopping for Haruka before we go to the fun place. Also, I really want to make a wacky cake. I know you do, sweetie. Oh, it sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. I want to make an ooey gooey <laughs> butter cake. Have you ever, you've seen the gooey butter cake, right? Yes. I also want to make it. It tastes like hugs, as it, far as I remember. It tastes like a hug, yeah. I want that. And to be perfectly honest, having a hug would be nice right now. I was about to say, honestly, right now, I could just do with a hug. Flying. Oh, are you scared all of a sudden, Lee? No, I just could yeah. do with hugs. I'm, I'm, I'm taunting a guy. Oh. I have turned with Pop-Tart and sausages. What flavor sausage and Pop-Tart? Uh, the Pop-Tart's just standard strawberry. I, I don't like frosted. What, unfrosted? Yeah. I, I'm Bless for me! Thank you! I know, I'm some kind of heathen. Although, as of late, Pop-Tarts have not been as filling. I remember when the filling used to go all the way to the edge. I mean, there was like that little bit of edge, but like, the filling has been lacking. Is it just me who thinks that? I don't know. I've not really had pop tarts in my life for as long as you have. I've... The ones I have are not even actual pop tart pop tarts. They're more uh... toaster strudel. <laughs> oh, not even that. They're just they're another organic brand. Oh, I didn't know they had that available. Yeah, I can only get it from one store, but they're pretty good. Ooh, let's go upstairs and go to the restaurant while the child goes shopping. I know, in Japan, free-roaming kids is perfectly normal and perfectly fine and perfectly acceptable. It's a part of the culture, etc, etc, but still! Oh, look, upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. I didn't even bump into you! Sir, your hitbox must be massive, because I did not bump into you. I am trying to spend time shopping with my daughter before I beat the living shit out of the Yakuza one Yakuza at a time. By the way, we've named all the children Lamp. All the children are now called Lamp. Do you know the Lamp test in movies? No. Where if you took a character and replaced them with a Lamp, would, any, would them becoming a Lamp add any impact to the story? Jesus. They're lamps now. <laughs> That's not harsh, well, is it? I mean, it's either that or else having to go deal back with Bob. The guy puts it helicopter, Bob. I don't want to do a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. I wish I saw Majima doing the helicopter. Oh my god, I got a perverted joke That's out! Fuck. It's been three hours. That is the horny. <laughs> the three hours in, and finally a horny joke. Alert the media. Hooray, an oasis in the sea of. I don't know, what, how, how 
how big is this desert we've been going through? Uh, I don't even have a. S I need to get a song with like da da. Give me my da 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 does. Where's my da 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 does? Thank you. <laughs> I finally. I mean, granted, I was thinking that, but I was also thinking of uh, the Zelda fighting. Da 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 da. Listen, I'm not even in the mood for oo woo. You're, you're not in the moo woo. Listen, how did I make my survivor? You were there during the last bit of my freaking of yesterday's stream. Remember how I entertained myself during that? Would you like me to talk at you in the voice? Oh, buddy, please, don't do the voice around me, okay? Don't you know? We're just gonna be here. I'm Kazuma Kiryu, the I dragon of Dojima. <laughs> it was my Majima I was just doing my Minnesota. Well, butter my biscuits, darling. No, no. Majim what I was doing was the Minnesotan voice. Or Canadian, I've been told both. Or North Dakota. Butter my biscuits, darling. You seem to be in a dilly of a pickle. <laughs> Ideally, no neighbor, 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 Like, I, sometimes I know people with that voice. <laughs> at, at work, it's wonderful. It hurts when I see freaking Flanders shirtless and it's like he's hot. I'm like, oh god, he's hot. Why? Why'd you Stupid do this? Flanders. Stupid sexy. Did you Flanders? know that Ned Flanders actually has a um, trope named after him Flan now? Flanderizing. It's basically taking one aspect of a multifaceted character and just multiplying it by a thousand. Yep. Yes. Otherwise knows what happened to Ned Flanders. Also, what happened to Peggy Hill. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people do with Majima. Because most people think Majima crazy. I'm like, no, there's more to Majima than is crazy. Did you pay attention? Is there? Yes. Is there really a... Have you been what? Did you not watch me do the freaking Majima saga? Oh my god. Multifaceted being. Yakuza Zero. Yeah. He's super faceted. Do oh, not make me break out the charts! What was the plan arising with, uh, with Peggy Hill? She became more and more egotistical and more of an idiot. Like, you know, yeah. like the Spanish thing. If you The Spanish thing is a great example of it. Where basically, predominantly, she got worse and worse in Spanish. Because the gag is, yeah, she speaks Spanish, but she's not the best at it. And then they just made um, it go, let's... they made it just, she's an arrogant woman who basically thinks she's the goddess of, she can speak Spanish fluently, reality, she can't speak it at all. Yeah. I remember that. Mind you, when I thought that, I thought that was I was thinking more of the aspect where she gets uh, very, very so, somewhere between self-righteous and actually and genuinely righteous, where she wants. Oh, that too. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh God, these. So let's see. Yeah, oh. Yeah, God, next. Oh God, these Swiss rolls are depressing. Oh my God. They're like flat. I can't believe I'm going to try something stupid here. Hot sauce, you cure everything. Spicy and sweet is a very common combination. It might work. Are you talking about sriracha sauce? No. Chalua. More smoky. Ah. I like Chalua more than I do sriracha, to be perfectly honest. I think sriracha has a little too much vinegar for my taste. That or it's something else. Mind you, I, I like spicy, but Spanish spicy, not... Anything you say, Mizu Kintan? If you guys remember these guys from Yakuza 2, she, he almost jumped off of a freaking building because of her, and then she lied about her being pregnant with his child. So yes, we're going to bring these characters back. Yay! Everybody's favorites. They were right at the end of the game. Okay, good news. And bad news. Chalua makes it taste better. Bad news, I put too much Chalua on it. Mm. Yeah, I'm... Sorry, I'm kind of... I'm kind of... Being over here, it doesn't uh, put condiments or anything until I write a bit of it and then determine what it needs. Even then, I might not even put condiments on at all. Yeah. Oh, no. It really depends. Oh, yeah. If it's certain cooking, I will definitely put freaking. What am I doing? Like, for example, I like cod, but cod needs to have a condiment, it needs something to go with it because it's dry as all get out. Malt vinegar. Small tiny child, are you done shopping? Ugh, small tiny child is not done shopping. Uh, 
Not Ghost Rash. Uh, let's see if I saw something here. Ghost Rash and Relish is. I'm just trying to see like other examples of um, flanderization. Oh, you're not looking it up. Yeah. It's a fun. Well, I know what it was. I'm just trying to look for other examples. I think Cartman might also be an example to an extent, because like the it's usually a pro it's a trope that's usually do done with a long running show. Usually it's TV series. Okay, that's it. Kiryu, stick your dick in something. It might make it extremely exciting. Well, we done the dick joke. It's three, three hours in, finally to the stick your dick in joke. We were, about, we were about to get here eventually. What am I supposed to do? Got nothing to do, might as well look around. I've been doing that! I looked around everywhere! I've sniffed all the floors! Look, I'm sniffing the floor. Sneef, sneef, sneef. Oh wow, flanderization has an official wiki entry. Not even uh, TV tropes. I'm on TV tropes right now. Hello, tiny human. Tiny human, are you done shopping? Madam, tiny human, it's not that hard to pick meat. Look, point and go eh. <laughs> oh, just go to the entrance and she'll come back to you. Okay, bye. Oh, I bought so much that they'll bring it over for me. Perks of being a regular here. Apparently, let's see. Um, anybody ever watched The Office here? Yep. The American version. Kevin. Kevin and Dwight Schrute have both been flanderized. Yeah. Makes sense, actually. Um, especially Kevin. Me. And Dwight, especially Dwight too. You're right. You win. You win the cookie. Yay. These two again. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, uh, Tim, you want to see a shop that's usually common in Florida? Uh. In touristy destinations, you want to see a tourist shop in Amer in Florida? They have one here in Japan mm -hmm. that looks just like it. Well, in this game, that looks very similar to one here in America, in Florida. Uh, I I don't know. It basically sh it basically sells really crap rock jewelry. Fair enough. It uh, is. There's always at least one tacky place like that. Oh God, no! The weird thing is, there's a restaurant here in Okinawa that I swear it looks like one here in Florida because it's such it's <laughs> it's, it's it's a tiki restaurant. We have one here in we had one here in Florida. And I ain't talking about freaking, uh, um, we're not talking Rainforest Cafe, because Rainforest Cafe is good. <laughs> what? I think it's good. That's just the way you had to be, ver the Rainforest Cafe is good. <laughs> I happen to like their Volcano Cobb salad. Thank you very much. Wow, I must be getting really good at this game, because all I'm doing is X button. Have you considered just not playing the game if you're hating it this much? For the sake of I have to do it for completionist's sake, no. You have to? For plot reasons, yes. Or are you making yourself? Yes. No, it's not that. It's just, it gets better later on. The problem is getting to the later on part. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. When we get to commotion... No, according to multiple sources, Buckshot and Survivor included, it gets better once we get back into Komotaro. So basically, yeah. it's like the old games again. So, in theory... In theory... I should be going... It's going to go fast-paced and crazy, and I'm going to be happy. Happy cat. So we just have to sludge through all the boring shit first. I fucking hate this. Uh, when will the day come that I get my tax refund? Uh. No! As in, the government has basically said, we are getting a tax refund if you are meet these conditions, and I do. I mean, I met a lot of conditions, and my tax refund was nice. Actually, no! Technically, uh, technically I could have qualified for the small business tax refund. Technically, because I am a person who technically counts as a small business because of my artist on commission shit. 
But I didn't apply for it because I didn't think I, because I personally didn't feel comfortable applying for something because I don't think of myself, I should think of myself as a business, but, you know. Understandable, have a day. I mean, I'm trying to remember uh, about that, because that, that did come up at work once. Um, I think it's as long, if you don't actually show a profit, you can still write off as a hobby. I technically do make taxes. a profit. Do I technically make a profit? I know in SSI, <coughs> I can't make more than this much a month or I lose my SSI, and I know I'm definitely under that. Yeah. I don't even think- this is, how, this is how boring the intro section is. We're not to talking about taxes. What? <laughs> We're talking about the, the US tax system. It's a lot more exciting! I have a uh, anime I've just discovered that I could share. Is it Food Wars? Because I'd rather talk- <laughs> No. Uh, let me just rediscover what the name is because it's a. Uh, it's one of those ones that's got fun names. Hang on. Also, yes, Punk, we did mention Kevin. However, he did do anything. We're just. No. About the untropes. We're talking about Kevin from The Office. You're innocent for once. Oh god, did he try to- is he trying to jump off of a high place again? He is. Fucking hell! Should've known it was gonna end up like this. Okay, that's it. Survivor, give me your helmet head. I'm throwing him at him. You're a weapon now. Question, do you return to me after I throw you? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, you throw- so it, uh, it is... Uh, there we go. Uh... Mairi Masha... Mairi Mashita Iruma-kun. What's it that about? Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun. Ah, I think I've heard of this one. It's fun. There's a, there's one that I'm actually kind of interested in. It's basically... I don't know... I can't remember the name of the anime. It's basically you are... It's about a protagonist female who basically her whole purpose is to kill bo young idiot plain boys who basically get isekai into her world. <laughs> <laughs> so her whole- What? What? Are you laughing? You thought that was funny? Yeah. I just- yeah. I've had it with these motherfucking boys! <laughs> motherfucking isekai protagonists! <laughs> but um- But it's just like so funny, cause it's like- And like, it's not even like- It's basically making fun of not only the trope of the isekai, but also making fun of the trope of how the protagonist in most isekai slash harem animes are the most boring, plain face, boring, 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 toast is more exciting, boring people. So she's also killing hey, Cause she's also like- they Sorry. They gave us- I am say they gave the part of the harem anime trope. Mm. Of going, where it's like, they're, everyone's super interested in them despite being bland as toast, or white toast. Listen, white toast is exciting, you can at least put butter on it. No, it, so. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, Suzuki Iruma, human, 14, one day finds himself taken against his will into the world of demons. Um, basically, uh, his shitty parents sell him to a demon. Um, to add to his predicament, his doting owner and self-appointed grandpa is the chair demon at a new school. At his new school. In order to survive, Iruma must deal with a haughty student who challenges him to a duel, a girl with adjustment issues, and so many more scary beings. This sounds Can like... this ultimate pacifist dodge the slings and arrows that are flung this way? Oh, it's gonna be fine. It's... Basically, he keeps accidentally his way through things, and it's honestly kind of adorable because he's just so desperately trying not to stand out. I like that. No, um... And his... His ultimate, basically ongoing technique is overwhelming crisis evasion capability. That's a good technique. <laughs> um, he is so used to dodging negative and dangerous things that he just he spends twenty minutes dodging fireballs at one point. Oh wait, I've seen clips of that. It's hilarious. And yes. Everyone makes a joke going, "Ah, that kid was also a former bu formerly bullied kid, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's where I first saw the clip. So I'm going to send this clip to my therapist and it's just them <laughs> explaining how he dodges everything. Yeah. No. Um. So the isekai girl one. 
So basically, and now everyone's saying, oh, she's going to fall in love with some guy that gets isekai'd. Also, before that, uh, so the point, the other reason why she's killing all these kids, people who are being isekai'd in, and it's all boys, it's all boys, is because she doesn't want, because everything in isekai, everything gets turned upside down, and she's like, what about the fucking economy after all this bullshit? No, no, we're not dealing with this. Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> we are not dealing with the aftermath of your little adventures. But like, and they were like, as people were like, oh, she's going to fall in love with some random guy who gets isekai'd. No. Lesbian. <laughs> yes, lesbian. <laughs> so I'm like, yes. Um, the I've never really much for it, guys, except for the ones that have been backwards translated to that. But uh, there's only a few that's mildly decent. I remember uh, one being told me that I might like, which was Overlord, and just being told it's a garbage easy guy that knows it's a garbage easy guy. Oh, I've considered that I'm one. I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah. Wait, isn't Overlord the one that got the reanimation adaption and it basically it's really bad animated, badly animated or cheaply animated? It might have been. Eh, it's still good. No, also, I remember. Sorry. Continue. Big Don't Brother! What?! Don't fart in an Apple store. Well, no, do why? They don't have windows. I'm sorry, sir. Something exciting actually happened? <laughs> yeah, uh, really, it is a. Surprise, motherfucker. Man, could you say that this moment, because it's something that's actually exciting? He has... He's absolutely... He's doing it. I know what he's doing. Glorious. And in the great words of me... We're having a sound bite off now. <laughs> no, um... I can't hear your sound bites, though. Face palms. Um, so the people... So they're not... So she and him and... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna slim this down for you because it's a fucking soap opera. So in the last game... She and him were supposed to get married and all that jazz, but now she has just recently found out that she is related to him. There, and she just went Onichan. So I go Onichan. No, not that fun. Not that fun. And she's like, "We, I love you, but we can't be together because we're siblings." What are we gonna do on the that's, ground, Onichan? That's an excellent reason. <laughs> this is actually my little sister. Oh fuck. Eh, someone somewhere will get off to it. Nobody expects it. The Spanish Inquisition? No one expects that either. Wait, hold on. Drama's happening. <gasps> but if you were my little sister all along, that means we're family already. Oh god, it's like that trope in anime I hate. Wait. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to salvage this so he doesn't realize, oh man, I was about to do the you, the you know what with my, with my sis, little sister. I was gonna do the horizontal monster mash with my own Echan. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's just, you know, let's not talk about this ever. Lena. I am like gonna go make dinner. Bring me a I'm snack. Hey, your own fucking snacks. This game has given me psychic damage. Yes, it has! Which catches on a little bit, maybe. Depends on if, what I then do after dinner. Okay, be safe. Have fun, Tim. Dinner. Okay, so I've suffered emotional damage. The most exciting thing that happened involves incest. I just stopped myself thinking about how, what I just fucking said. <laughs> Nobody clipped that. No one clipped that, please, for the sake of this move, my, my career. Uh, I think I need, I need, I need. Survivors, there alcohol in your head. Sadly, no. Oh. Uh, it's, it's too, it's too early in the day? Yeah, too early in the day. Too early in the day? It's only 3 p.m. It's frying. I know it's 5 p.m. somewhere, but unfortunately that's not a good enough excuse for this, at this point. Uh. I just looked at my bottle of hot sauce thinking, do you think if I drink enough of that, I can go <laughs> I'll feel some kind of buzz? <laughs> There's no alcohol in it. There is a black man in this game. And he looks like Eddie Murphy. 
I mean, to be fair, it's... It could be worse. I'm sitting here going, the last time there was a black guy in this fucking game, it got a little... Not racist, but, um... What they did to me... It was a big, beefy black man. And what they did is they had a normal voice actor, and they just pitch-shifted his voice lower, but it sounded ridiculous. And it made me laugh the whole damn time. The best character in Yakuza 3. What, Eddie Murphy? Apparently. If the best character in this ga damn game is Eddie Murphy. Okay, so it doesn't look like Eddie Murphy. Wait, actually... His name is Mac. This is the best character in Yakuza 3. That isn't Majima. Akiriye. The name's Mac. I'm here to help, here to help, you, with a, to help you with a settlement. It's like, you know what? Yes, let's go save a settlement. <laughs> your settlement need- Hi, I'm here to tell you your settlement is in danger. You know what? I've much as I don't like it in Fallout 4. That might be actually exciting. Let's go fight some orcs. Let's go fight some generic band of raiders. <laughs> Woo, generic band of raiders! Let's go make out with a ghoul named Hancock. Wednesday is going to be fun. Yep. Uh, Moment of mental clarity that only comes once you see that pure beauty. I had that revelation once while looking at a really, really beautiful taco. It was a really good taco. No, sorry, it was enchiladas. It was really good enchiladas, too. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what kind of taco? Enchiladas. Oh, enchiladas. So you're not a creep. That's what I get for assuming. Yeah, well. I didn't even own a camera. Oh. Please do not tell me there is photography in this game. You see, it's all about method, not the tool. Yeah, tell that to a bunch of the elitist snobs I used to meet when I had to go to art galleries. Those assholes were like, phones cannot be used for high quality art like this. I have to use a something XLR camera or whatever. I don't do cameras. Trust me, Kyrgyz. I had an uncle who's kind of in that mode, kind of not. I don't know. He, he had talent and he never did much of it. But he had the camera equipment. Now, where is that shot? Ah, Kiryu-san, I can feel it. You know what I can feel? My butt... My butt cramping. Okay, relax thine buttocks, cat. Take a picture of that sweet old bag of bones on the scooter. Okay, listen, mm. I can't ju... And don't forget to blog about it afterwards. Oh, God, there's blogging in this! Why are you like this game? Why are you hurting me, game? What? Instagram wasn't a thing in 2009 when this game is set. No, wait. Was Instagram a thing in 2009? Someone Google when Instagram was a thing. <laughs> and then Twitter. And then Facebook. And then maybe we can figure out where he's posting it. I want to say that's the last 10 years or so. Oh, so Facebook was a thing in 2009 because I remember my mom had one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're posting on whatever this universe is equivalent of Facebook is. Yeah, let's see. Instagram was 2010. Twitter was 2006. Facebook was 2004. So 2004. So basically, it could be on either Facebook or Twitter. Most likely yeah. Facebook. Most likely Facebook. Thanks for teaching me how to do camera. This doesn't look stalkerish at all, Kiryu! Oh, joy. Oh, no! I did it. There's a quick time event for photography! Apparently. This you, is very ridiculous. <laughs> YouTube was also a thing back then. This could be YouTube. Okay, what, what just happened? I don't know. I need therapy again. Uh, He's using a flip phone for this shit? Do you know how expensive the inner... Oh, get the perfect shot again, buddy. Alright, preparing the camera. This is so fucking stupid and ridiculous. Why are you teaching me to use it? I don't care. I'm not gonna be using this shit. It's like they're, it's noise, it feels like they're hand uh, feeding us the 
mechanics. But very slowly. So in case you didn't see it the first time. No, no, this is because I fucking fessed up and they are like, do it perfectly. I just, I just, I just. When Punk says, Mac brings the weird. Mac brings weird. Oh, Punk, I'm not quite sure what you're getting at. This is very much weird. Excuse me. I'm about to give you my reaction, audience. You can't hear it, Survivor, but I'll tell you what it is once I hit the post. My reaction to this whole bit right now. Wait. Taking photos teaches you fighting techniques? No. 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 Can someone please just help me? He's a blogger. I don't. Oh God. I don't know. So confused. You know, when there's a cell, when there's picture mode in video games, I enjoy it. I use the picture mode a lot in Final Fantasy XV. I was not taking pictures of Gladios and Ignis's butts. No. Hey, see, I can only do horny jokes when it's other video games. <laughs> but uh, but like this makes why? Okay. Okay, I will now be playing the sound. What I currently feel while we are doing this bit. Please, audio work. <clears throat> Also on the bright side. Hi, uh, I'm hearing uh, Bitcoin cards may is finally starting to slowly come down because Bitcoin mining is practically po is no longer profitable. Yay! Also, I played the Doctor Doofenshmirtz going the Behold, I don't care, Nator. Ah, uh, yes. That thing is technically for backseat dr players, but right now I'm in that state of like, yeah. Mm, mm. If there's anything I don't think you don't mind, Baxi, it would be this opening section. Just, just, back, chat. just, back, just tell me what to do, chat. Just tell me what to do. Tell me why ain't know. nothing but a heart. Fucking hell. What now? Surf's up here, too. That's how the bros in California say hello. They do not say surf's up in California. I'm Florida, and I know this. You know, like, Japanese is kind of tough. My girlfriend's been teaching me. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. This email's so fucking boring. Oh, thank you for telling me about the perfect shot. Thank you, Eddie Murphy. His name is Matt Cat. No, his name is Eddie Murphy or, uh, fuck, who's the annoying guy in, uh, GTA? Because you played GTA, I didn't. I was a Saints Row girl. Um. The bowling guy. Right. Bowling. Oh, oh, yeah, uh. What's his name again? Give me a sec. I just, I just said it, uh. You said it yesterday when we were making jokes I about did. it. I did. Because we were like, we'd rather go through that right now. What's his name? Okinawa Airport. We're going. It's, it's right there on the... It's in a, oh, Romaine. Romaine. Rom Roman. I'd rather go bowling with Roman right now. Yeah, Ro Roman... Roman Bellic. I, I don't remember pronunciation. Yes, the cousin. Yellow God! Finally! Interesting things! We're in Tokyo! Who knew that Okinawa was that boring? I thought Okinawa was interesting! There was in Kill Bill. It should be interesting. Ooh. 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 So supposedly this is what the game starts picking up. Ooh. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I think, by Joe, I think we're getting back to, <laughs> getting back to <laughs> what we all know and love. Me? <laughs> Ooh la la. Yeah, I'm just gonna cross my fingers. <laughs> hope that's true. Why? <laughs> no, I just wanna hope that Buck Buckshot is ready to just go. Okay, so we're going at nine, ten miles per hour. Now we're shifting to a hundred, to a hundred miles per hour. Yay! We're no longer snail. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's cute. He ain't my Maji, but he's cute. Listen. <laughs> This is a breath of fresh air, audience. Don't judge me. Oh, God, I'm deep. At this point, I don't think anybody has the right to. I think after me being on basically a dry period. <laughs> Meanwhile, in China, China tell Yokanawa. Someone's getting their ass kicked. 
Or shot. Oh no. They're just slicing up pieces of pig. Finally, it's exciting. Finally! Finally, it's fucking exciting and not boring as fucking Okinawa. <laughs> I'm doing a dance right now. You can't see it. Uh, Nico. Yes, Nico. Finally, it's happening to me. I am gonna touch a... Ooh! Duck! I think that's Peking Duck. Looks like Peking Duck. Might be Pig. Yeah, yeah, that might be Duck. Looks like Duck. Ducky. That is Ducky! Or Swan. Well, that neck could be Swan. Finally, we get some excitement and not some boring shit. I'm paying attention. Yep, that's Duck. Yeah. Three hours in, it finally gets exciting on the stream. I am so sorry, audience. I'm gonna put it on the VOD. Cut to here if you want excitement. <laughs> I don't even put in the yeah. first video of Yakuza 3. Skip this, it's boring, unless you want to hear a girl bitching for four hours. <laughs> hey, look, a duck head. <laughs> that's not a Chinese knife, that's a butcher knife. That's a cleaver. Could slice a man's clean head off if you know what the fuck you're doing. What's They're like, really teasing the murder. Probably the murder is coming. Please stop teasing the murder and actually murder. It'll be exciting. Red, paint this red w room red with blood, please. <laughs> is this me from the Omni Alliance or is this some, somebody else? No clue. Omni and Alliance is on our side now ever since 2. Okay. This is some people getting on to the Chinese guy. Chinese people. Chinese people. Yeah, Chinese people. The Chinese immigrants. That was a face. <laughs> so I just, I just watched this man unhinge his jaw to eat a piece of pay, I assume. No, that was a piece of duck head. That was the duck full head. duck head. Beak and all. Huh? Where's Majima? Excuse me. Everyone, I need your power and energy for Majima to be summoned. Ooh, money! But well, what else is going to be in that kind of briefcase, right? Yeah. I mean, it could be, could be a stuff that was in uh, Pulp Fiction. You know, the briefcase full of something magical, I assume. Does it, did they ever explain what... Yeah. Majima! No. It's either going to be money or a bomb. Or drugs. Shit ton of drugs. Like cocaine bricks. Little bricks of cocaine. You could build a house out of these bricks. No, you can't. Cocaine does not make good building material. Do not ask how I know this. I'm not going to. Good. I'm just using what is known as common fucking sense. Please. Please. Majima husband. Please, my love. Please, my darling, come back. What's in the box? It's like seven up in here. I'm just thinking, baby, come back. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I can't see. No I don't want to know. What's in that box? A bomb. There's a bomb in the box. <gasps> yeah, you know when criminals just leave behind a briefcase of something. No, I heard, I heard, I was like, okay, I don't see any money texture. Maybe they just didn't put that in because they didn't think anyone would notice. Here's the ticking. It's a bomb. <laughs> yep. In Kermochiro, Tokyo. What the fuck? I hear screaming noises of women in distress. Who do I have to protect? It's like oh. Oh. Um, just set, touches down like, oh. No. Um, I think those are the, um. He's, um, um, mm -hmm. uh, doing, doing it, doing it, doing it all. 
Because the sound of like, why is this woman in distress? Here's the pant. Oh, that's not distress. Well, it might be distress, but you know. Oh, yeah, because I can't hear anything from my end. You're lucky. You know what? I, you know, the moisture I had left. Don't use that term, cat. The, the stuff I had left. It's gone. I'm dead inside. <sighs> Why is this game so boring? Okay, it's not boring. It's finally getting exciting, but still. Majima? Not Majima. Uh -huh. They just told this guy well done on fucking the. <laughs> okay. Hey, audience, when you finally finish doing the deed, do you want a group of men just bow down and go, good job, excellent job, sir? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. No, but I'm assuming this man is on a power, is on a, is on a power trip. He's on a power trip, yeah. He's on a power trip. He's like, yes. You know, I feel a little horrible because this guy's doing horny as hell jokes and I was making jokes out. Yeah. We found where my horny went. <laughs> okay. Thank you for smacking me, Master. May I have another? Uh, yep, this man's on the power. I can't wait for Kira to come in and just kick his ass. I'm still waiting for that. Or Majima. Anyone. A semi truck. Yes, fuck. This dude. This absolute unit of a man. Is, uh, he's asking for trouble. His tattoo is pretty, though. I know that like they actually talk to actual people who design those tattoos because the tattoos again are supposed to reflect the p characters themselves and it's nice. I just like tattoo art. No, tattoo art is really pretty. Get, I don't know if I'll ever get one, but I do absolutely love good, good tattoo art. Oh, I do too. Um, I love Majima's and the representation that it has with the snakes and the uh, Hana mask. I like big guys, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like this big old man that he's flopping around? Flopping. Flopping. Come on. Akamasha. Okay, so you know how I was making a joke going there weren't a lot of good looking people in the previous Yakuza games? I think I found them. And even then, that's pushing it. We're home, Komochiro. I missed you, baby. I love you. Never change. Let me make out with you. Where's Majima husband? Oh, this is cut from the PlayStation 3. Yes, that's how two people make I know, right, Kiryu? Go help the women. Creepy guy, time to beat him up. What happened to the Stardust? Who runs this place now? I'm gonna beat him up. I love how that's my instant reaction. I'm gonna beat this guy up. The Majima in me is active. Yay! Yay. Finally, we're beating some dicks. Let's go, go into the Stardust. Hold on, I got some of that. Oh, crazy. Because okay, that definitely uh, qualifies. Look at that cash. <gasps> good, they still are owned by the good ones. I mean, that's a pretty stack of money, but they don't like rude customers, all I'm saying. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. I love dicks. <laughs> Beat him up. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be a uh, black man or if that's supposed to be an Asian man with corn rolls. All I'm saying is the model looks weird and I'm about to beat the crap out of it. Model looks weird. Yeah. Okay, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Good.
Nothing suspicious. Yeah, sir. Nothing suspicious. You're being an asshole to these guys. Yeah, the model looks a little weird. Okay. Just cut out. Hazibe. Okay, he is of Japanese origin from that name. Captain of the Nishikiyama family. Okay, yep, definitely of Japanese origin. Might be mixed race? Maybe? Cat, stop thinking uh, about it and just beat his ass in. Okay! What? 300 mil? American or yen? There's a difference. We yes, all. There is. <laughs> massive one. <laughs> I think it's yen, because that does not look like $3 million. Or it could be $3 million American. Who knows? Hmm. You're going to turn this place into a base of operations for your Yakuza war. He doesn't want that. It's the Kazuma family. What? You're one smart cookie, buddy. But not smart enough to accept our offer. So these guys want to go up against the Kazuma family, which is Ka Majin which is Kiryu's family. And we're about to beat some asses in. That's the important part. We're finally getting exciting. Yeah, cheer for you. What? I said chat. Cheer, cheer with me. us. Yay! I don't have a yay yes. button or an applause button. I gotta work on that. Okay? I have a, it's a miracle. I'm working on it. <sighs> I'm about to beat your fucking ass in so deep it's gonna be a black hole. That sounded like a threat. It was a threat. To this fictional oh, hey, character. Hey. <laughs> yes, that's not a threat. I'm glad you're paying attention. Congratulations, you know what comprehension skills are. I'm very proud of you. You're better than some parts of Tumblr. <laughs> What? Sorry, sometime I hear that I was thinking the uh guy that's taking two little uh two little fingers together and pressing together and it's like and now they kiss. Yes. It's like it doesn't matter about the context, it's again chippers. Uh, I do love- I miss when back in the day people used to do crazy funny ships like, These two characters have never interacted at all! I'm gonna make them make out! Yeah, no, it's, I think- what is it all about the hot takes? Yeah, and I hate it. Excuse me, I need to get a lamp. Excuse me, sir, excuse me. I need a lamp, thank you. And again, I say, I say that never having been on Tumblr, ever. I still am on Tumblr. So there's, um, someone on Twitch, uh, Pichu Pie, I think is her name. Uh, she's doing this thing where she brings in her friends and she does Tumblr history. Okay, that sounds interesting. It does! Until you're the one who's there and has to be like, that's not how it happened. I should know I was there. She was also on Tumblr during a lot of the Tumblr history moments she's talking about. But it just makes me feel weird because I'm like hearing about these historic, these quote unquote Tumblr history events. And it's either, oh yeah, I was there when this happened, or B, that part of Tumblr I wasn't a part of, so I never saw this. Peanut butter jelly. Okay. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut yeah, butter I jelly and a baseball bat. <coughs> the only question was, were you in that particular crowd at the time, or were you there and just, they're misremembering? So, nice. like, for example, for me, the part of Tumblr I was on during a big Tumblr season was Team Fortress 2 Tumblr. Okay, who's the asshole over here that needs her ass kicked? Okay, you two focus on this guy. Um, and there was a controversy in Team Fortress 2 Tumblr that only people who were on Tumblr during that time were in the part of the Team Fortress 2 section that remember it. Which makes me feel sad when I think about that. It, and it now you safe. do. It's safe for, it's like, it's safe for uh, Twitch. Uh, oh yeah, and, yeah, basically, um, this well-known content creator for, t uh, there was a person who really didn't provide that much content for, uh, for the Team Fortress 2 fandom, if you will, but was really popular because of their takes and shit. So I guess that you could say they provided content, but just not, like, what you would not think of in the typical content of fan art, fan fiction, fan sh da 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 Like, yeah, different. Yeah, super cool, but it's not no a noticeable portion. Yeah. But this person, basically, who was a minor at the time, uh, basically, 
basically was showing some signs on their Tumblr of certain types of behavior. Of the unlifing kind. Oh. And a person who is a predominant creator for, uh... It was a predominant creator for uh, Team Fortress 2. Hell created one of the TF official TF2 comics, decided to be an adult, and basically call people to help this person, right? And then that happened, and apparently this person might have been faking that whole thing for attention. I roll. And basically called out this person who was, who was an adult creator, and they were like, well, you just interacted with a minor, da da da, and it's like it was for the minor safety and well-being. They were concerned, that's why they did the thing that they did. But then there was this weird us versus them mentality, where there was like this split. People who were on the side of the adult, who was basically like, no, she was doing what was what an adult should have done, you know? Yeah. Versus, oh, you should have not be interacting. To versus the people who are like, you shouldn't be interacting with minor minors da 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 and it's just like it's this weird thing that has happened in a loop in, te in other fandoms now that i am older i've noticed it but it was like this big thing where there was like this weird chasm between team team fortress 2 fans and it was so fucking weird like there's the occasional tiny chasm like you know the medic heavy shippers versus medic heavy other character shippers or like the spy, the spy scout thing, and like, there's the tiny minor ones, but this one was massive. Like, I'm not saying doxing did happen, but there were rumors that doxing happened, kind of level. Again, this was like in 2012, so I'm. This is over 10 years ago. Oh, not hurt saying yeah. that. So, long story short, a lot of things went down. A lot of. Uh lot of bad things. Bad blood. Yeah, and like, it's cleared now, which is great. But, when I, now that I am what is some people call fandom old, I notice the rumblings, and it's concerning in certain fandoms. Like, there's the, there's the, uh, the assholes in, um, the assholes in the My Hero Academia fandom, I'm gonna use them for an example, because I am a member of the My Hero Academia fandom to an extent. Where they like, we clearly mark ourselves as we are adults, we make grown up content, minors do not interact, but then the minors interact and they're like complaining, like, how dare you expose me as a minor to this thing? We're like, we're How dare you not let me interact? It's like, this is supposed to be a free space for all, like, if you're a minor. minor. It's like, you do realize this will be criminal if we interact. Considering posting <coughs> adult content. Yeah. Yeah, and which she goes back to, that's why teenagers and so are, stu are stupid. So and it's real funny when the teenagers when the teenagers are like, well, you should treat us like an adult. Okay, you want us to treat you like an adult? We're going to make you now more responsible for your fucking actions, like you treat us, and da-da-da-da-da-da. Hey, why are you doing this? I'm a minor. You said you wanted to be treated like an adult. I'm treating you like an adult now. Yeah, and not in sucks. the And not in the way you were hoping, I bet. We're going to make you more responsible for your actions that you do. And like, you, you've you been on my Twitter, and by you've been on my Twitter, you clearly see on my Twitter, children do not interact. Go nowhere near me. Yeah. And I even say on my streams, I am not for to entertaining your children. Look at me, I'm an adult, I talk about adult things. Taxes, taxes, taxes. <laughs> Mortgages. Yeah. Name some other adult things. It's, again. Fiber. Mortgages. <laughs> Fiber. Yeah, there you go. But yet there are people who are like, you chronic need- Chronic health problems. Chronic health problems. No, that anyone can have those at any age. Yeah. But like, I've had- I, 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 Luckily, I don't get this much of an interaction with minor people, because I- I'm thankful for it. But I have many friends who do. Like, I know a fellow- I know an artist who makes some good art that I like. Keeps getting harassed by people. And it's like- and then there was that whole minor coded thing, which I'm not even going to start on the minor coded thing unless you want me to get rage mode, and no one wants cat in rage mode. Because, like. Because it's. The minor coded thing is like, oh, this character acts like this, 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 this. They're minor coded. I go, no, they're not. They're a person who's suffering from a lot of trauma, and this is a traumatic response. This is a typical traumatic response. And they are clearly a freaking adult. Because there were like some people who were like, how dare people sexualize Aizawa, who is a 30-year-old man in My Hero Academia. Um, 
trying to remember who that is. Is that the teacher who's like constantly tired? Sleepy Bagman, yes. Yes, I I like him because I because that is very much an adult. Like I just don't have the energy for this. I I need to be patient and tolerable, and I don't have time for this. Yeah, but so there were. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. There were some people on uh, in some parts of the My Hero Academia fandom who were all like, "Oh, that's such a mi he's always tired and sleepy. He's such a minor character." I'm like, and I go, "Okay, there. first up, no, first he's thirty. Second of all." He is basically, if you know his backstory, which I do because I have vigilantes and I love vigilantes and I want that to be animated, so not because I want Tensei eat a crumbs, um, it clearly shows that he has gone through a lot of trauma and shit. This is a normal traumatic response. If not, also, it's also a response that some people who have autism do. And basically, a lot of characters who were being quote unquote minor coded and should not be sexualized because they are minors and act like children are people who either A, definitely have the signs of so autism or ADHD or something of the like, or B, are suffering from some form of trauma. And it basically are, is basically, in my ears, my ears, this is what it sounds like to me, you're basically belittling them to children when they are full-grown adults and are fully aware of their functions. You know? Yeah. It's like Cause, Yeah, because it's like not everyone's... Being adults realizing not everyone's going to have the same reaction to things, I get that. At the yeah. same time, though... Oh, is that um, not everyone's reaction to trauma is going to be the same either. And sometimes, yes, sometimes people regress. Sometimes people own people a shit ton of people buy a shit ton of plushies to cuddle at night so they don't feel. Mm, yeah, they that's don't want to feel old. Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's, it's the whole idea is that they, they want to get back to like a, a time where they don't feel like everything is so shit drenched, <laughs> drenched and shitty. They want they want that they want that beautiful attitude of having bright hopefulness in the world. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Um, this the other reason why I like that character a lot because 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 when I was a teenager, I definitely had that uh those moments where like the way I dealt with depression was I'm just gonna go to go sleep. I'm just gonna go to sleep. It's you can't bother me. Feelings can't bother me if I'm not awake to be aware of them. Bingo. Yeah, so I get that. It's like, and you can get that at any point in your life. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I get overwhelmed a lot, and I wrap myself up in my weighted blanket, and I'm like, I'm going to take a nap now. Good night. Do not bother me until I have woken up. If someone wakes me up, the house better be fucking on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so it's weird. Like, um, another example would be uh, of the city Coward, but it's really just dealing with trauma is... um. What's his name from Demon Slayer? I have not watched he, Demon Slayer. <laughs> it's it's a good show. I do recommend it. I know. Um, like the brother and sister, her uh, relationship is hands down wonderful. Yay. But I'm I'm thinking of. Was it? I gotta remember the character's name. It would be better for visuals if you just give me a visual. Yep. Uh, blonde hair. Kind of wears an orange coat. Kind of looks, like, kind of looks like his hair is orange tip dyed. Uh, yeah. Ah ah! Endeavor and Hawks' love child. <laughs> yeah, is it Zetsu? Yeah. Um. So the interesting thing about it, like me and Mama wa were actually watching uh, Demon Slayer. Huh? And like I remember, I know how one close close cat was commenting on like, oh yeah, he, he he's only useful while he's asleep. He has to be asleep for him to do what he before he can go into asking him. But, like, mom saw that. And she's like, that kid is mostly um, disassociating. It's fun to do that. No, it's not. Yeah, mm. but it's not. But um, I'm saying she has to so you are. She's disass disassociated hard. Oh yeah. At times, so. So that was kind of like brought home. But she hadn't brought a whole like, yeah, this is how he's dealing with stress and trauma. Yeah. So in part in challenge or something, but that's not necessarily a healthy thing. It's just a, th it's a thing. Yeah, like, par example, the breakup I had. Everyone remembers that surprise stream that I did playing the game Gris. Yeah. That was my disassociation. That was me yeah. basically mentally playing something else while in the back of the brain was basically decompartmentalizing and processing everything in the back. Yeah. But granted, uh, I, I think as far as like, you know the usual trope, like, hey, this particular character is kind of a pervy, kind of pervy in a way. Yeah. I actually like him a little better than other aspects that he still has some self-respect. I mean, self respect. I was actually, there's a character in One Piece known as Sanji, and I actually like the look of him but then I found out what his personality is like, and his whole bit is like he's either 
whoever's writing the episode or whatever, it's like, he's either he's the cool, suave guy or he's the pervert. I'm like, great. But yeah, um... Like, um... So I'm saying, though, it's, I'm saying it's like, they, they do play of tropes, but at the same time, they kind of... Like, there's some things they fall into, and there's some things they will, like, draw attention to and say, hey, we're going to this trope. Why are we doing this? And then kind of flip it on its head. Which I like. So, um... So, yeah, it... it not, not that it's all about that. I just want, I just want to comment uh, that yeah, there's certain characters depending on who, who's looking at them, you'll notice things. Oh that yeah. Maybe you yourself because you don't haven't gone through that experience. Yeah. Um. Okay. One of my other personal favorite characters is Present Mike from My Hero Academia. He is loud. He is boisterous. He's always happy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He's a great guy. Yeah. Reality. He's gone through some shit. So he, yeah. he, he, like, if you've read Vigilantes or have been currently reading My Hero Academia, know the shit that's going down in that department. I have not. Everything's on fire. Everything's fine. Um, he is a person oh. who has gone through some shit as well. He's gone through the, he went through the same shit as Aizawa, the loss of their best friend. Yeah. And, like, he's doing the loud, happy, boisterous thing and trying to do that whole face of, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, pressure well, like in, a drip, 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 drip. Never gonna stop. Whoa. Yeah, inside they're just screaming. Oh, you mean me on a normal day? Yeah. yeah me too. <laughs> no, it is fine. It's like, Cat, are you fine? I'm fine. Are you fine? Perfectly fine. Oh, that's literally why uh, my favorite thing is to say, like, that's like comedy of like, okay, I'm now need your innermost thoughts, and oh god, why is there so much screaming? What screaming? What? That's normal. The screaming in your head. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I've had those moments. So, uh, what was it that I was? No, uh, yeah, because I love the because okay, so here's the thing: I have an issue with telepaths in most media, Jean Grey especially, or Emma yep. Frost especially, because I don't like the idea of someone going into my head without my permission. Because I don't like, you don't want to see what's going on in there right now. Okay, listen, listen, for your benefit and mine, don't go in my brain. Yeah. And also, also it's like, it's the whole invasion of privacy scenario for me. Because it's like, no, 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 do not go in brain. Actually, yeah, I think, um, I do remember them talking about that like in Babylon 5, for example. And that was very good discussing, like, hey, we have rules for telepaths. Why? Because telepaths can just read people's minds. Right, so that we very much consider that an invasion of privacy. I definitely. So it has to be done. So it has to be done in a very controlled manner. So, but I also talked about a part of it is, um, okay, what if you're a strong telepath and you need a way of shutting out that noise? It's a lot of noise. Yeah. Because so, because the thing you're not you ha it takes focus to read one person's mind. You're listening to everybody. At and you're once. You're in a crowded space station at once. Ugh. Wait, that's me normally. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just, like I said, but normally you can find, hey, here's a deep, here's a room I can go hide in. I don't oh, yeah. have to hear people. Oh, you uh. You can't do that when you're a telepath. Nope. <laughs> on a closed space. Uh, what? I was about to say, so it's like having a quiet room at a convention. Which, conventions, thank you for starting to do quiet rooms. I'm very grateful as a person who gets overwhelmed too much. Yeah. Oh, I it, love can, them. Because, yeah, I can definitely get, um. No. Overwhelming. Some people are like, what's the point of the quiet room? Because, like, this. Karen, we're gonna just call her Karen. It's like, why do you have a quiet room? What's the point of it? It's going to get away from ladies, from people like you. <laughs> it's there because I want to interact with society, but I don't want to be so submerged. I, I can't think straight, and it just becomes too much. The quiet room is nice, by the way. Yeah, so sound, quiet. It does sound nice. It does. It's a quiet, low light, but not too low. You know what I mean? It's like it's a good light. It's an underwhelming light. Yeah. So it's nice. It's calm. Quiet. Yeah. I. I nice. They, they didn't have those when I, when I was going to conventions. I'm so glad they are. Because that's actually a really good idea. Yeah. It, it's. I think it's a. That's a cop. Why are there fucking cops everywhere in freaking Camarocho? I'm. I'm just thinking back to the last two game, two or three games. Like, okay, that explains why there's more of a. Uh, police involvement. Well, there's police involvement in this one as well, because, like, um, God, this is like a Metal Gear Solid game. Metal Gear Solid music, activate. Um, because there was a massive fight that happened at the club, and now he's trying to just get out of here, because, you know, kind of, sort of, mm, I don't know how to, ex they explained it, but was I paying attention? 
Define what, what? I was gonna say, Spiel, what are we doing right now? Oh, uh, so there was a fight at the street club we were at, and now we're just trying to get away from it so we don't have to deal with police investigation. Ah. So right now, I am basically Metal Gear Soliding my ass around Komochiro. Gotta find another way. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I can't go that way. Can't go that way. I'm assuming you're supposed to fall on the pink arrow. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the pink arrow, but I can't get to the pink arrow if I... Okay, this is cleared. That's not... This way? Is a taxi an option? Can I take a taxi? Cops over there. Hide, hide, hide. Cops can't see me. Cops can't see me. I'm invisible. I am invisible. Can't see me. I'm Solid Snake. Metal Gear. I'm sorry, I'm reminded. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was thinking of a uh, cops can't. If they can't see me, if I can't see them, they can't see me. Therefore, I can't get into trouble. I was also thinking of, um, as a result, yeah, they're like uh, FBI vampires. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same. They, they can't. They can't enter unless you give them legal permission, or you know, or if they hear. They hear something. They have to investigate. Fuck. There's cops here. Okay. So cop is Thank here. Fuck. Okay. Think. Think. Use that sexy brain of yours, cat. You do it. My brain right now is playing the Rick Roll music. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Can't go that way. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're supposed to go either. We're supposed to go to Pink. Street. We're supposed to go to Pink Street. Okay. Well, I get. What, I get where we're supposed to go. I just don't get how we're supposed to get there. That is a very good question that I am still figuring out. Okay. I am legitimately looking at the map. Oh, I know how we get there. Yeah, buddy. I hear you. It's not full time yet. Yes, it is. It is full time. It is the time of food. It's not. No, it's Feed not. me. You have an hour. No! Feed now! Uh, I know. It's, it's, my dog is telling me to stop looking at the magic picture box. It made them give me food. I'm sorry. Magic, a magic picture box. This thing isn't magical. I mean, I'm sure to a dog it is. <laughs> Listen. It's constant. It's like the, it's like the outside, except it constantly changes. The outside constantly changes. Don't you have seasons in your neck of the woods? We do, but I don't know. It it you say seasons, but it changes a lot more frequently than that. Ugh. Okay. I'm. I want to go outside and do things, but fucking I, cops I'm again! Blast. Okay. Is this, a, is this a hallway, or is this a city? This is an alley in the city. That, that's my point is I'm getting I'm getting Final Fantasy thirteen vibes. So like you have all these areas you can go down to, except you can't. Yep. Okay, if I go this way, then I go. Cops can't see me. Cops can't see me. I am a vampire. Cops are here too. Oh, oh! I was supposed to bump into every cop possible. Ugh. You're supposed to answer, please? Mm-hmm. God, I hate this game. <coughs> Why are you still playing it? Because I have to! Because completion. Hello, Kiryu. Oh, look, it's the men in black. This one is going to have my least amount of screen grabs. <laughs> Do they have a neuralizer? <laughs> what? Can I just? Do they have a neuralizer? Can I just? You know, it was a cut, a Cliff Notes version. The last four or five hours. Could you just give me the neuralizer? Just tell me what happens in this fucking game, so I can skip to four, the better one. I guess you don't speak Japanese. Hola, amigo. Como esta? Secure <laughs> you break out into Spanish. <laughs> That should be a sight. <laughs> yeah, instead of English, he just breaks out of the Spanish. Hola, amigo, como esta? Let's go. Soy Esquirio. 
sorry, just, I'm trying to think it's the equivalent of like one accent into another accent to a different language. And it just sells all sound wrong. Oh yeah. Oh my favorite is to do southern accent French. Bonjour y'all, comment allez comment allez-vous? Je suis le cat. Qui est la bibliothèque? I'm getting my ass kicked in the corner. Okay, mysterious figure A. We get it. You're freaking Alan. What's his name? 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 He's in Resident Evil. He's blonde. He wore glasses. Wesker. Leon? Wesker. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, Wesker. Well, I'm pretty sure where the sunglasses stay on at all times. Even in bed, baby. Especially in bed. <laughs> Especially. I have a long iron pipe, and I am not afraid to use it. I will just spam the X button and kick all of the ass. Look, we just had a long, we just had a long, long trip out of the country, semi out of the country. <laughs> Baby, you do not need this right now. Lead into a joke about how uh, it's like what? Uh, where you flew out to an island? We're all islands. It can't have been that bad. No, Okinawa was this was the entire flight. The whole Okinawa section. God, Okinawa like, sucked. It's like one last, one long section, of nothing but Polyshore's biodome, and no, with no way to escape. Oh God! Don't talk about Polyshore's power biodome. Oh, I've seen that once, never again. Yeah, I saw it on freaking, uh, that's it, TASER! Oh, there, well, at least they, they something came used for me. The, get me out of this fight side button. The, don't resist button. The don't tase me bra button. Pretty much. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's doing work. Yeah, but I'm still getting my ass kicked by Mysterious Foreigner A. Okay. I, I, I want to say something, but I want to wait till the end of the stream before I do. What? You know, since you've been adjusted to the settings? Yeah? For stream? I don't think I've seen stream break down once. Yay! Oh, occasionally, but otherwise it's been pretty stable. I mean, there's been a few frame drops, I will admit to that, but those were tiny frame drops that happened at the beginning. And now, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, it's been largely stable. Huzzah! Yay! Now you jinxed it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was trying not to avoid. So I basically set everything up to 720, and then I made it. I've already had it at 30 frames per second, and I set it to uh, 300 kbs. So I, I guess that maybe that was it. 3,000 kbs and all that jazz. Well, I had it set to 6,000, I just halved that because of how shit my ISP is. Yeah. That's it! That's it! That's it! Drink that! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat! Peanut butter jelly! I guess the trusty baseball bat. Save us. Majima, save me! Oh my god, this was one of those assholes who likes using evasion a lot. Oh my god, you're one of those dicks. Oh look, a bas bicycle! I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike, I want this to- This guy does look like Wesker. Oh, now you've noticed the Weskerness? No, I, I haven't gotten to get just a good look at him. Now I gotta get a look at him. Yeah. Oh, you asshole, you took my bicycle. I was using that as a fun toy. Now Discount you- Discount Wesker. Oi, Discount Wesker would be better. This is Wish.com, Wesker. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're right. <sighs> you know who's hotter than you, Wesker? Leon! Poor, <laughs> speed of Leon. Poor, poor Leon. What? First day of the job. 
God. He's late because he partied too hard and then he got to walk into all this. <laughs> and it's just the continuing... The continuing adventures of uh, Leon and his bad days. <laughs> okay. Bad first day at work. Okay. Okay, asshole. That's it. That's it. You're feeling my furry wrath. Furry wrath, you say? I also didn't make a wrath. I don't know yet. I'll tell you when I figure it out. Oh no, oh no. Get ready for cutscene! Why? Right trigger. Why? Of all things, right trigger. Were you trying to hint to something for the boys who will be playing this game? How they seduce women? Yeah, I just went there. Yep. Stop destroying the bicycles I abuse. There, you get kicked in the fucking face. Did you like that? Did you like getting kicked in the fucking face? <sighs> Anyone who has platinum on this game, I, I, I am impressed with your patience and you should be knighted for sainthood. All I'm saying. You don't get knighted for yeah. sainthood, don't you? Do you? <laughs> no, you don't get knighted for sainthood. <laughs> Can you tell him I'm not Catholic? <laughs> yeah. I'm not Kathy either, I'm just... Oh no! I read a lot. <laughs> he has a gun. What, you're gonna threaten Kiryu with a gun? After the gun- after the, the ass beat down? Be I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kiryu, who's been shot two times, made out with a woman on top of a tower when a bomb was about to go off. And you're threatening him with a gun. <laughs> well, this whole stream, I have not made a reference to the end of two. I finally do. Four hours in. <laughs> you watch. What does that say about little old me? What does that say about the beginning of Yakuza 3? Right. No, it's Mac. It's dude, dude. Actually. It, that's Mac. It's fine. It's fine. It's Eddie Murphy. We're good. Well, I have to tend my dog. I have to tend my dog. One moment. Tell him he's cute. Okay. Don't. Oh! Press X to tackle him! I have to chase the man in black. Parkour, parkour bullshit!
Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Temporarily? How about keep it on it permanently? I hate this. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. It just gave, they gave me the snarky. Do you want it to? They want to what? Do you want it to go to easy mode? Mm. You have to ask me. I actually want to do it. I, mean, I, I won't fault you for it, considering how this game is going. It goes. Do you want to temporarily put it to easy mode? Can I have it permanently set to easy mode? to call you the scampering chicken in high school. I'm not going to point out how weird that sounds. It is very weird. Oh, I hate this game. I want to murder it. Can I murder it, please? I do not care about the side missions. <laughs> of course the, the guy. What? Did we kiss the dude? Yes, we kissed the dude. We made out. Catch. I said catch. No, you said kiss. In my little mind of needing enjoyment. Accept that. The scent of Mac. What is with these all these emojis? Says Gert Cat, who uses emojis. Anyway, emotes. Yeah, I can say they're very popular right around this time. I like using them. They were happy. They made me happy. They made me feel some form of joy. Alright. I can't be too harsh on them because I've, I've misinterpreted texts. With no emojis plenty of times. Well, the whole purpose is to provide emotional context. Visual emotional context. Yes. You know, tone. Yes, that thing I don't have. Okay. To Millennium Tower, go see the for florist of Psy, I assume. Make out with Majima. I have yet to see my Maji man, and I am getting annoyed with that. <laughs> I am all scrap. I am all shrimpy, slouchy, pouty face right now. <laughs> because I'm like, I miss my man. My man is hot. He would add some form of enjoyment. Please go to the Cosmo family office. Uh. So Wednesday, I don't know if we're going to be doing this or if we're going to do freaking Fallout. What do you think? I have to vote, it'll be a fallout. You just want me to play something that makes me happy. Yeah. Hello, Kashiwagi. Kashiwage. Omashu. Omashu. Oma. Oshima. Fuck it. Scarface. I'm tired. What? It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I was in Okinawa. That was not the rela that was not as relaxing as people like to think it is. <laughs> Okinawa, come here to relax. I was the most stressed ever. <laughs> Majima? 
That is not Majima. Tsuyoshi Kanda. Say I can pronounce some words. It's fat guy, yeah. Yeah, it's a fat guy. It was fucking people. Yeah, I'm glad for representation of fat people getting laid. Thanks, Yakuza 3. I'm very happy. I am so happy. Yoshikita my mine 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 Japanese is hard. Can someone teach me Japanese? Actually, no. Don't teach me Japanese. I suck at in I sucked at learning French. Teach me Latin. That should be easy. I mean, technically, I've heard that it actually is an easier language to get into. Latin because it's a dead language. Because uh, people, I've heard that people who've uh. Neurodivergent people have a huge time with Latin. It's very. It's like Spanish, where it's very literal, but uh. Also, there's no stupid con. There's no hard stupid conjugation where all the words sound the same, but they look different, aka French! Yep. Dude, don't throw the cigarette! Do you know how much it costs to buy a cigarette nowadays? I don't know. I don't smoke. I want to rub this shiny man's head. <laughs> uh. Hey, it's the guy Go Hamazaki. Hamazaki. How big is this fucking family? It's making my family look tiny. They're not actually all related, cat. Uh never mind. Is anyone paying attention? Fire. Oh, you weren't paying attention? Someone take notes. <laughs> you were supposed to take notes. I, I'm not, I, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't taken notes for a while now. Did you have notes in Okinawa? <laughs> no. We're fucked. <laughs> No! We're gonna have a pop quiz and it's all about Okinawa! <sighs> so. <laughs> what? Yeah, the moment, the moment the pop quiz comes up, like, so what? So what? How did this. How do you feel about this person in Okinawa? Like, it's. Do you really want my honest opinion about it? Do you want me to do this book essay about how little I care? <laughs> I've done it before, I'll do it again. <laughs> I will do a book essay about how sexist this prompt is! <laughs> Oh, Kiryu up again is the most important piece in this fucking puzzle. He is the keystone of the arch that is the freaking family. <coughs> the thing that's holding us together, excuse me, if I, uh... Apparently he is. Is it... He is okay, the Xanax that holds this anxious body together. <laughs> okay, but how? I don't fucking know. I'm assuming because of respect from a few couple of the families, mostly Majima and the Omni Omni Alliance, they have respect for him. He raised the leader of the former gang of the cur of the sixth chairman. He was the former fourth chairman. He has respect for Scarface, who was raised by Scarface as well. The wives of the the one wife of the former chairman also had a high respect for him. See, there's a lot of respect involved. So there, maybe. No one knows who you are, dude. Sir, if you're going to be wearing a yellow suit, maybe pick a yellow tone that doesn't ma practically match with your skin tone and makes it look like you're running around naked. I'm just saying. Hey, so we have the two people we don't like. What? Sure. No, I'm sorry, we have, get, we have uh... Uh, the guy he duck head and uh, blew up a place. Yeah, Mr. And Mr. And, yeah. and Mr. Pork fucking. No, oh, we need a better name for him. Shiny head. 
<laughs> there we go. I guess, I guess that'll do. Listen, that one bald guy got blowfish face, so we need a new one. <gasps> Majima! Majima! <laughs> Majima! My love! Why does he look so strict and sad? Honey? Honey? Why are you in a suit? Hold on. Why is my man in a suit? There you go. Why is my man in a suit? That looks actually very nice on him. But why is he in a suit and he looks miserable? Because he, he feels like he's at a funeral. He hasn't decided who's going to die. <laughs> That's what you can... He's not in his leather getup or anything. And everyone's morons. He's just called everyone morons. I love you. Hajima, you don't have gloves on either. This is so confusing. Not my circus, not my monkeys. He just doesn't give a damn. Majima, are you okay, honey? Sweetie? I'm so tired of this. He's me. Kenka <laughs> <sighs> Majima just threatened those guys. And the horny's back. <laughs> what? Ooh. You do not look comfortable in that fucking outfit, Majima. Take it off. Take it off. You, me, we can be alone. Survivor, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> there, Majima's back. I'm finally feel joy. Majima is caged again, yeah, and it fucking hurts him. He's in a suit. He looks quanky. I just I wanna hug him. Ooh, a piece of paper. From the nipple dimension. Majima, we will free you. Hold on. My kids, I have to. I have to go to the grocery store to pick up supplies. Get me a bag of jerky. I'll see what I can do. Nice. I would. I would say have fun, but uh, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. I saw Majima. The world is at peace now. Okay, the lands have been refertilized and vitalized. I'll bet okay. temporarily. <laughs> you mean So oh. Chad, Chad, you have good you have a good day, I'll see you around. Alright. Bye. As well as you are aware, the Tojo aided the ministry and blah blah blah. blah. Ah. So good news Majima's back, so I'm happy. We are now out of Oka Fukunawa. I never want to go back to Okinawa again. In this game or any other future game. Please, thank you. What if it's a twin? What if he was a triplet? How long does it take to get to Okinawa? I like my twin theory slash triplet theory slash evil twin theory. And the power went out. In game. Not in real life. Thank God. Hey, look, a helicopter. You better be Tate. Uh, not Tate.
Majima needs a hug or to fight Kiryu or both. Yes! Everyone's dead. He's dead. No, not Kashiwagi! No, we liked him. He was in the past three games and we actually liked him. He wasn't that shit. I liked him. I mean, I don't want to pop on him, but I wanted to, you know, I had to respect for him. I would, I really did not mind having tea with him. And you killed him. Thanks a lot, Yakuza 3. Your worst game ever. Worst game ever. Worst Yakuza game ever. And apparently judgment's pretty shit. So, you know, I'm saying something here. Well, he's dead. Collect the picture, you dumbass! Kashiwaki-san. Kashiwaki-san! Wake up, butthead! And wait for him to yell to the sky. Waiting for him to do the manly yelling to the sky. It's a common fucking trope in these games, you know this. Well, soap operas at least. Well, Kiryu once again will be accused for murder. Somehow. <laughs> Even though obviously, man didn't do it last time I checked. For the original dev to be pissed. <laughs> you are right, Punk Bobo. You are right. You are very right. You are very, 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 very right. <sighs> Everyone, get out of the fucking building. This is an evacuation. Kiryu's covered in blood. <sighs> Just say you were on the same fucking floor. Okay, yeah, remember this is 2009 Japan, they most likely have different laws. Of the jam factory. You're fucking joking. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No! Oh no! My game fucking crashed. Oh my fucking god. Yakuza 3 has crashed. This is the first time ever in one of my Yakuza streams where the game has crashed first time ever i just i just i just i i i words cannot find flames flames on the side of my face i just i i i i yeah I, 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 I don't i i'm broken i'm mentally broken again oh god Okay. 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 I just... I am... I... 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 Uh, I... Uh, 
I need a break from this game. Are we all in agreements we need a break from this game right now? I need a break from this game. Let me be right back and let me do a commercial or something and let me just figure out what the hell we're doing, okay? Just one second. 